Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Naruto. Kashina begged me to help to save her son Uzumaki Naruto at the beginning. Chapter 81. Ding Zi's face was so gloomy that water almost seemed to drip out of it. He didn't contact Hinata before because he didn't want Naruto's affairs to affect her, but he didn't expect such a thing to happen. Hinata Hiyashi is a complete wimp. He doesn't dare to vent his anger on Ding Zi, so he just takes it out on a little girl. Walk. Ding Zi uttered a word in a muffled voice and walked towards the Hyuga clan's territory without saying a word. Hyuga Sha followed Ding Zi tremblingly. Even though she was more than one meter away from Ding Zi, she could still feel the tingling sensation. It feels like a needle is pointing at your eyeball at a very close distance, making you feel uncomfortable all over and creepy from the bottom of your heart. Da da, Ding Zi stood at the door of the Hyuga clan in wooden clogs. He slowly raised his head and his purple eyes locked onto several Hyuga members not far away. When those people saw Ding Zi's expression change, they immediately stiffened their necks and said, Stop, cat-eared Sancho, the head of the family has said that the Hyuga clan does not welcome you. Hee <laughs> hee, Ding Zi slowly stretched out his hand, and eye shadow gradually appeared at the corners of his eyes. When did I ask him to agree to this when I went to the Hyuga clan's territory? Fire release, great dragon fire jutsu. Ding Zi clapped his hands, and a fire dragon more than 10 meters long appeared from behind Ding Zi, raised its head, opened its mouth and roared silently, then shot out like a cannonball. Be careful, boom, boom, boom. Enemy attack. The Hyuga clan's territory was instantly thrown into chaos. Ding Zi's fire dragon had still retained its power after smashing the Hyuga clan's gate, and it still rushed towards the rear with terrifying might, actually penetrating through more than a dozen houses, and then exploded in the center of the Hyuga clan's territory. A small mushroom cloud slowly rose, and the entire Konoha was looking towards the Hyuga clan's territory at this moment. Many ninjas jumped to a high place and looked in this direction, and the ninjas of the Hyuga clan also rushed out with weapons in their hands, looking at Ding Zi ferociously with their white eyes. Da, 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 da. Ding Zeru walked forward as if he was in an empty space, completely ignoring the fact that the other side had more people than him. The Hyuga tribe members swallowed their saliva, and even though they were unwilling, they kept moving to both sides to make way for Ding Zi. No one dared to stop. Ding Zi walked into Hanada's courtyard and just as he was about to open the door, he heard Hanada's voice inside. No, Lord Ding Zi, don't come in. Ding Zi opened the sliding door as if he didn't hear it, and Hanada's appearance inside made Ding Zi's eyes red. The room was in chaos. Hanada was lying on the bed, with almost all the visible skin on her body covered with bandages. She even had several splints on her left hand, obviously with a broken bone. Her face was extremely pale and thin at this moment, and her eyes looked very cloudy. Am I, am I, ugly? Hanada stubbornly held back her tears, bit her lower lip tightly, lowered her head and dared not look at Ding Zi. No, I'm here to support you. Wu, Hanada couldn't hold it back anymore after hearing these words. She buried her head in Ding Zi's arms and burst into tears. All the grievances she had felt during this period turned into tears and burst out. Ding Zi gently picked up Hanada, turned around and walked outside. At this time, almost all the ninjas of the Hyuga clan were here, and they all looked at Ding Zi with complicated expressions. They wanted to take action, but they didn't dare. They had heard about some of Ding Zi's battle records over the years, and they knew very well that it would be difficult to have any effect against such a large number of ninjas. And if everyone rushes in, the situation becomes complicated. It will be troublesome if someone dies by then. Choosy, the Hyuga clan is not a place for you to run wild. Put Hanada down. Hyuga Hiyashi crossed his arms and slowly walked out of the crowd, his eyes cold and said. Otherwise you won't be able to leave here today. Hanada Natsu. Ding Zi called softly, and Hanada Shah behind him trembled and hurriedly came out. I. I'm here. Protect Hanada. Ding Zi gently handed Hanada to Hyuga Shah, then turned around and looked at Hyuga Hiyashi with cold eyes. Hiyashi's heart skipped a beat and he said sternly. Do you want to start a fight in the village? Aren't you afraid that the village will cause trouble for you? So this is your confidence. Ding Zi sneered and shook his head, or you can't even eat hot shit. Just wait and see if the village will come to rescue you. Snapped. Ding Zi clapped his hands and shouted, fire style, 
Great Dragon Fire Technique Hold head high. The fire dragon roared out and headed straight for Hayuga Hiyashi. The latter's face changed drastically and he quickly used the Kaden defense. Chakra shot out from the acupuncture points all over his body, forming a blue protective shield around him. The fire dragon crashed into the sky and turned into sparks all over the sky. The next second, Ding Zi's figure shot out from the Mars. Immortal Technique Super Large Jade Rasengan Ding Zi jumped down from a height holding a huge Rasengan with a diameter of 7 or 8 meters. The terrifying momentum formed a hurricane around him. Do you really want to kill me? Hanada Hiyashi's eyes were red with anger. He already regretted showing up, but it was too late to say anything now. He could only bite the bullet and use Kaden. Back to the days. Boom, buzz buzz buzz. The two terrifying ninjutsu collided with each other, and Choji used all his strength to push the Rasengan back to the sky. Hanada Hiyashi was already sweating profusely, and his chakra was being consumed at a speed visible to the naked eye. If this goes on, Choko's Rasengan will hit him in three seconds. Fight, gritting his teeth. Rizu cancelled the return to heaven move and stomped his feet on the ground. His body suddenly rose up and one hand thrust out fiercely. Bagua Kongzong, Rachel, sizzle, sizzle, a terrifying bird cry suddenly appeared in front of Rizu. Before his Bagua Kongzong could even condense, Dingzi's figure had already appeared in front of him. It sounds slow, but it all happens in just three seconds. Everyone only saw Hayuga Hiyashi cancel the Kaden and then jump up, so fast that they couldn't see clearly. But Chuzi was even faster, and the moment Hiyashi jumped up, Chuzi's figure had already appeared in front of him, and with him came the terrifying Reikiri in his hand. Everything happened in an instant. Lord Dingzi, no! Hanada suddenly shouted, then started coughing violently, and said weakly. Don't kill anyone because of me. Dingzi's eyes were sharp, but the Reikiri in his hand still slightly changed direction. As his figure flashed past, Ding Zi landed safely. And Rizu in the air was stunned for a second, and then his arms and body suddenly separated. Ah, Hayuga Hiyashi fell heavily to the ground with a scream. Just as the Hayuga clan members were about to step forward to support him, they saw Ding Zi raising his hand, and the next second an even more terrifying meatball was condensing in his hand. Buzz buzz buzz, the ball made a sharp buzzing sound like a boomerang, and the smell alone made people's skin sting. Ding Zi's eyes swept over every member of the Hayuga tribe, then he slowly walked to Hayuga Hiyashi and stomped on the arm that fell to the ground, breaking it into pieces, completely putting an end to Hayuga Hiyashi's idea of getting his arm back. From now on, Hayuga Hanada is still the eldest daughter of the Hayuga clan. No one is allowed to make things difficult for her or let her suffer any injustice. Who agrees and who disagrees? The faces of the Hayuga clan members were distorted. Is that a serious question? Put down the ninjutsu in your hand and ask again. Are you asking, isn't this pure bullying? Who would dare to say no when faced with such a terrifying ninjutsu? Ding Zi was very satisfied when he saw everyone's expressions. Yes, it seems everyone agrees. But in case someone disagrees, I'll give you a reminder. If you disobey my words from now on, you will be like that house. As soon as Ding Zi finished speaking, the spiral shuriken in his hand shot out like an arrow from a bow with a bang, and the next second it landed above the main house of the Hayuga clan, setting off a huge hurricane. The entire house was completely crushed into powder without any damage left under that ninjutsu. Even the ground was smashed into a deep pit 4 or 5 meters deep and 15 meters wide. Several members of the Hayuga branch family who were close by were blown away by the air wave, their bodies covered with densely packed tiny wounds, and they rolled their eyes in pain. At this moment, all the Konoha ninjas who were paying attention to the Hayuga clan's territory were silent. They looked at each other, secretly comparing themselves with Ding Zi in their hearts, and were horrified to find that they had no ability to fight Ding Zi at all. After all, Ding Zi still has a sealing technique that he hasn't used yet. Kai, if it were you, would you be sure you could beat him? Akamichi Choza stood on the roof with a heavy tone. Might Guy, who was wearing a green tights, also showed a rare solemn expression on his face. I don't know, if I open the death door, it should be possible. I have a 70% chance of success. Only those who know Kai know how valuable this sentence is. The means displayed by the other party actually made Kai want to open the death gate. 
This evaluation is not low. But no one objected. No one knows how many tricks Dingzi has, and according to intelligence, Dingzi's physical skills are also very strong. Asuma even said that the other party also knew the eight gates and had even opened the third gate. The senior ninjas felt a chill in their hearts when they thought of this. They didn't dare to imagine how many people would die if they stood on the opposite side of Chuzi in the future. Ah, Nara Shikaku suddenly sighed. There were many things he had to say, but he knew very well that something serious would happen if he said them out. In fact, he didn't understand very well. Chuzi was Hanada's summoning beast, which meant that Chuzi was naturally an ally of Konoha. It is also a very powerful ally. Maur Mountain can also cultivate a large number of elite strongmen. But what did the village leaders do? They pushed such a strong man to the opposite side of the village. It can be said that they kept doing it. In fact, Shikaku thinks that the best way to govern is for the third generation to do nothing, and his IQ is really limited. Think about it, Naruto's father sacrificed for the village, and he grew up in the village. Even if he did nothing, he would still be loyal to the village, right? The probability is 100%. Obviously there is nothing to do. However, in order to control the Nine Tails Jinchuriki and pave the way for his descendants, the third generation did so many meaningless things, which led to the situation today. Shikaku had already guessed what was going on with Kumogakur. He was not sure before, but when he saw the big ball Rasengan, Rasenshuriken and Reikiri, he was sure that the things in Kumogakur were definitely done by Chuzi. It must be him, no one else. Dingzi has also learned Flying Thunder God 100%. The strength displayed by the opponent today is probably not even one-tenth of his real strength. Because only Chuzi needs Konoha to have a strong enemy to hold back, so that Konoha will not dare to attack him openly. This method is not very clever. But it's too late to say anything now. Lu Ju didn't want to get involved in these matters anymore, nor did he plan to tell the higher-ups about it. It's meaningless. The senior management are old and they are too reluctant to give up their positions. If they knew about this, they would definitely do something counter-intelligence and send the ninjas in the village to their deaths. For the sake of his companions and Konoha, Shikaku's thousands of words finally turned into a sigh. I'm afraid that Chuzi will have to fight with the Konoha high-level officials. I just hope he doesn't go too far. At this time, Dingzi had already left the Hyuga clan's territory with Hinata in his arms, followed by Hyuga Shah. Now Hyuga Shah really didn't dare to stay at home. Just when everyone thought the matter was settled, Choko, who sent Hanada to his home, showed up again. This time his target was very clear, the back mountain. That location is, the route. Nara Shikaku's pupils shrank. If Chuzi and Genbu took action, it would be equivalent to declaring war on the village directly. Several Jonin also thought of this and started to follow Chuzi, discussing the tactical deployment as they walked. If a fight breaks out, Focus on settling the conflict, not killing. Nara Shikaku said, looking at everyone. Chuza, you are responsible for protecting the village. Don't let the ninjutsu harm the people in the village. Might guy, you hide as your trump card, don't use it unless necessary. Kakashi, you have some friendship with Chuzi, so you should go and negotiate with him. If the problem can be solved through negotiation, don't do it. The other party is very dangerous. Hi -yi, you are responsible for cooperating with me. If it really comes to that, we will be the vanguard and I will create opportunities for you to use heart transformation. After saying that, Nara Shikaku tightened his clothes, checked his ninja tools, and then said loudly. Everyone, I repeat, the opponent is very dangerous. You must be extremely alert and be careful of the opponent's trump card. Shikaku, aren't you being too serious? We have nine Jonin here. If a fight breaks out, Hokage-sama and Danzo will join in, and there will even be root ninjas. Hearing what Yamanaka Kaichi said, Nara Shikaku shook his head solemnly and said. His strength is even more dangerous than I described. Don't be careless. Disperse. As everyone dispersed, Nara Shikaku looked at Dingzi's back with some worry. Only he knew how dangerous Dingzi was. That technique is said to be unbeatable. Under flying thunder god, not to mention nine Jonin, even 90 Jonin may not be able to stop the opponent. If the opponent escapes, there will be endless troubles. The Jonins quickly followed Shikaku's deployment and hid in various corners around the root base, ready for battle. 
They had never seen Lu Ju so solemn, which only meant one thing. Shikaku must have seen something. Those who can become Jonin are not fools. The Nara clan is the think tank clan appointed by the Hokage, and their words can be trusted unconditionally. As they just arrived in place, Ding Zi slowly walked out of the forest and stood at the entrance of the root base. Kakashi's hands were covered in cold sweat, and his exposed Sharingan had turned into a Mangekyo at some point. He flashed out from behind the cover and stood in front of Choji. Ding Zi, we can talk about it. We can talk about anything. But you have to understand that once you start, there is no room for redemption. Think about Hanada, if you take action against the village, what will you let Hanada do? Are you going to wander the ninja world with him? Kakashi accurately grasped the point that Choji was concerned about Hanada and began to persuade him. Ding Zi indeed hesitated for a moment, then sneered. I don't believe Serutobi Hirazan dares to go to war with me just because of Danzo. But I don't have to fight, just hand over Naruto. The village is now unable to take care of itself and it is impossible for it to use too many troops against Ding Zi, so Ding Zi is not afraid at all. What is the route? Even Ding Zi dares to break into the Hokage building. Kakashi's face turned bitter. He had already thought that Chuzi came here for this reason. But only when Ding Zi said it did his heart completely die. Chuzi, you should know that the village will never hand over the Jinchuriki to you. Then fight. Kakashi, don't stop me, I don't want to kill you. After saying this, Chuzi walked over, brushing past Kakashi's body, with the spiral shuriken in his hand slowly brewing. Suddenly, the gate of the root base suddenly opened, and a yellow-haired boy was thrown out in a daze, falling to the ground with a thud. Ah, Uncle Danzo, why did you throw me out? Aren't you going to teach me powerful ninjutsu? Uncle, Uncle Danzo, come out, it was you who said you would make me strong, Uncle. This scene surprised everyone. Danzo, actually threw out the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Is he scared? And why does it seem like the Nine Tails Jinchuriki wants to go back? The next moment, Danzo walked out of the base with a gloomy face, and the muscles on his face were shaking with anger. He suppressed his anger and looked at Ding Zi. You just want this idiot, don't you? Take him away. I have never seen such a stupid ninja in my life. Take him away quickly. The atmosphere at the scene fell into a strange tension. Everyone was caught off guard by this sudden scene. Um, Danzo-sama, what happened? When Danzo heard Kakashi's question, his eyes twitched. Only he knew how he had survived these days. It's torture. After bringing the Nine Tails Jinchuriki back to the root, Danzo, as always, wanted to make him forget his name and then brainwash him. Then this kid said, I will never abandon my title, because I want to be the Hokage. Then he talked about love and peace in the root, and almost led those root ninjas who he successfully brainwashed astray. What this kid said was strangely very reliable, and those decades-old ninjas in the root were all moved to tears by him. If he hadn't discovered it in time, the root would probably have become a branch of the Anbu. This kid exudes a scent of, love, that makes Danzo feel sick. It's no use saying anything, beating him, or abusing him. Even when Naruto was almost beaten to death, he was still talking about love and peace, and mutual understanding among people. He even made several root ninjas who were carrying out the execution cry. In order to bring those ninjas back from the wrong path, Danzo's workload increased several times. But for the power of the Nine Tails, Danzo endured it. He gave up on brainwashing Naruto and started teaching him ninjutsu, but he never thought that a person could be so stupid that he couldn't even learn the basic three body techniques. This is so stupid and appalling. More than a dozen people took turns teaching him for several months, but Naruto couldn't even perform a clone jutsu. This is totally different from what he imagined, okay. Naruto alone bullies the entire root ninja. The key is that no one can do anything to him. Once he loses control, the nine-tailed fox will take the opportunity to come out and run wild. The value of the destroyed things is already astronomical. What love, what peace. Disgusting. Take this idiot away now. Don't let me see him again. Danzo roared hysterically, then angrily returned to the cave and slammed the door shut. The atmosphere was a little awkward. Naruto picked his nose and saw Choji's eyes light up, Nian San. Ding Zi stretched out a finger and scratched his temple, and the moment Naruto approached, he knocked Naruto unconscious with a knife. 
Kakashi also reached out and scratched his head, not knowing what to say for a moment. Well, then you, will go back. Kakashi thought it over again and again before speaking. For a moment, Choji felt like he had been holding it in for a long time and finally had a big shit. He pouted his lips in boredom, picked up Naruto's clothes and turned around and left. Ding Zi didn't know that his departure would be like amnesty for Lu Ju and others. Shikaku, who was in a state of high tension, slumped against the tree trunk and rubbed his cheeks. Go report to the Hokage. The matter of the Nine Tails Jinchuriki still needs the decision of the top leaders. Yes, after bringing Naruto back home, Choji checked Hanada's condition. Fortunately, Hanada Natsu was very sensible and had already made some liquid food for Hanada, and of course, the quantity was sufficient. After having a full meal, Hanada's face finally had some color. With the help of Hanada Natsu, she washed herself with a towel and looked much more energetic. Chuzi checked Hanada's body and found that apart from malnutrition, there were basically no major problems with other external injuries. At least with the palm immortal technique, there will definitely be no problem. After treating Hanada for half an hour, Ding Zi withdrew his hand. It's okay, your cells are already under a lot of pressure. From now on, you will be able to recover in about a week by treating them once a day. Rest well and remember to eat well. Ask Hanada Sha to buy you anything you want to eat. Um, Hanada poked half of her head out from under the quilt and nodded slightly. Only then did Ding Zi pick up Naruto beside him like a garbage bag and walk into another room, bringing him into the soul space. Kashina and Minato came over almost instantly, holding Naruto and examining him carefully. Let me see. Tobarama stretched out his hand with a solemn expression and probed his chakra into Naruto's body to examine it carefully. However, the more he examined, the more solemn Tobarama's expression became. Master Tobarama, is Naruto's condition serious? You, please say something. Kashina hugged Minato anxiously, wanting to know about Naruto's situation but also afraid of hearing bad news. No, the kid is fine. Kashina was stunned for a moment, then suddenly became angry and said. Naruto it's alright why are you making that face you old man? Cough cough cough. Tobarama coughed violently and looked at Kashina strangely. Fortunately, Minato covered Kashina's mouth and whispered in his ear. No problem is the biggest problem. Have you forgotten what Ding Zijin said? Kashina only then responded. They rescued Naruto just to find out why Naruto's will was modified. Now they can't find out, either Naruto's will has not been modified, or Ding Zi is talking nonsense. Or he is so skilled that even the famous Senju Tobarama can't see through him. Ding Zi was thinking at this time, sitting cross-legged on the ground with his head supported. Don't worry, wait until he wakes up and ask him first. At that time, the Hokage building. Sarutobi Hiruzen looked solemn when he heard Nara Shikaku's report. What on earth did he want to do by taking the Kayubi Jinchuriki away? Does he really want to go to war with Konoha? Nara Shikaku's eyelids twitched after hearing this, and he quickly spoke. Hokage-sama, I don't think that's necessarily the case. If Choji wanted to use the Nine Tails to create chaos, there was no need for him to bring Naruto home and then release the Nine Tails. I think there is a possibility. He has met the fourth Hokage, Minato Namikaze. Maybe he accepted Minato's request to take care of Naruto on his behalf. Besides, the other party hasn't taken any actions that threaten Konoha yet. I don't think we should make any preconceived assumptions. The Sandai frowned, exhaled a puff of smoke, and waved his hand to take off the divine robe on his body, revealing the armor underneath. No matter what, make good arrangements for war. If Naruto makes any unusual movement, evacuate the civilians immediately and all ninjas prepare for war. Where is Jiraiya? Nara Shikaku calculated the distance and said respectfully. It should have arrived today. Hey old man, what's the matter that you called me back so urgently? A white-haired figure suddenly appeared on the windowsill. The third generation breathed a sigh of relief when he saw Jiraiya. Let's talk as we walk. The situation is very critical now. On the way to Choko's house, Sandai told Jiraiya everything with exaggeration. Of course, there were many things that he glossed over in the process. For example, when it comes to Naruto, the third generation only said that Chuzi bewitched Naruto, but he did not say that Chuzi only told Naruto the truth of the matter. 
that summoned beast claims to be from the fourth holy land, and it acts lawless. Now it has kidnapped Uzumaki Naruto and Jiraiya. This time it could be very dangerous. Jiraiya's face was solemn. Oh, old man, don't worry. I will ensure the safety of the village even if it costs me my life. In the soul space, Naruto slowly woke up. Kushina grabbed Naruto's shoulders almost immediately. Naruto, do you still know who I am? Mom, mom. Naruto hugged Kushina excitedly, but Kushina was not happy. She immediately pulled Naruto away and asked. Why on earth would you go and tell Sandai all those things? Didn't I tell you to keep it a secret? Naruto scratched his head and said seriously. But I think there is no way to achieve peace if we hide things from each other and are suspicious of each other. I don't want Miao-san and Grandfather Sandame to fight, and I don't want anyone else to die. Kashina's frown deepened, and Minato and Tobarama looked at each other, their eyes full of disbelief. Then Naruto, don't you want to seek revenge on Obito? Naruto's face was full of innocence. So what if I take revenge? Revenge won't bring mom and dad back to life. Killing Obito will only increase hatred. Mom and dad, you should let it go. Although what Naruto said was full of positive energy, the four people at the scene felt a little creepy. Naruto, I'm going to examine you now, don't resist. After saying that, Ding Zi placed his hand on Naruto's head, and the chakra flowed into Naruto's body along his palm, checking each meridian one by one. Time passed minute by minute, Kushina held Minato's hand tightly and waited for the result nervously. If Chuzi can't find the problem, then Naruto is really finished. If a person's will is changed, is he still himself? What's the difference between this and taking over someone else's body? Suddenly, Choji's body shook, and Kushina and Minato immediately became nervous. Kuroma, help me. Oh, the deep voice of Kurama came from Naruto's body. At this moment, Ding Zi's mind was all focused on chakra. He suddenly felt that there was a chakra in Naruto's body that had been hiding from him. If Naruto didn't have god-level chakra control, he wouldn't have been able to sense it at all. As the chase that Chuck Ladin's son determined, that thing was running. And he ran away so fast that Ding Zi couldn't catch up at all, so he had to ask Kayubi for help. The Nine Tails chakra gradually surged out and began to surround the strange chakra. As Ding Zi increased the chakra output, the opponent's escape speed became faster and faster. At this time, the breath of the Nine Tails began to leak out. The faces of the third Hokage and others outside were solemn. The ninjas were just waiting for the third Hokage's order to rush out. The third generation is still waiting. Now the Nine Tails chakra is just leaking and there is no sign of it being released. By then, Chuzi was already sweating profusely, and the chase in Naruto's body was still going on. Kuroma, try harder. Naruto, don't use chakra to resist. Choji operated in an orderly manner, but Naruto was still mobilizing chakra. Seeing this, Kushina immediately held Naruto's face and looked into his eyes and said gently. Naruto, you are sick now, trust Master Choko and relax, okay. Trust mom and don't resist. Mother. A struggle appeared in Naruto's eyes, and the chakra in his body began to agitate, as if it wanted to stop running but was unable to succeed. This chakra characteristic, is exactly the same as being hit by an illusion. Mom, I don't like this. Now San let me go. Let me go. As Chozi got closer and closer to the chakra, Naruto began to struggle violently. Kushina controlled Naruto while crying. Naruto, trust your mother, it will be quick. It's done. Chuzi suddenly growled, and with the cooperation of the Nine Tails, he used his chakra to surround all the strange chakra. The host has been detected to have come into contact with Ashura chakra. Do you want to contain him? This system prompt made Ding Zi suddenly stunned, and then he quickly chose yes. Containment failed. Please complete the task, and the host can contain Ashura chakra only after the system is upgraded. System prompt. If Ashura Chakra is forcibly extracted, it will lead to the death of Uzumaki Naruto. Ding Zi frowned, he never expected that the system would fail to contain it. This is the first time I have encountered such a situation. Suddenly Ding Zi remembered that he had wanted to bind to Naruto, but the system said that he could not bind to Naruto. Now it seems that this is the reason. Then let's extract him first. It should be fine if it doesn't go through the system. Chuzi immediately used his chakra to form a net bag, 
completely wrapped up Ashura's chakra and pulled it out. However, in the next second, Naruto suddenly rolled his eyes and twitched. No, kid, Naruto's life force is slipping away. He's going to die. Master Dingzi, what's going on? The three of them were in chaos, and Tobarama immediately used the palm senjutsu to try to stabilize Naruto's chakra, but at this time Naruto was like a Jinchuriki who had lost the tailed beast, and the loss of vitality could not be stopped at all. Kashina and Minato joined in, but the result was the same. It seems that without Ashura's chakra, Naruto as this incarnation will also die. But if we allow the chakra to stay inside Naruto, Naruto's personality will still be rewritten, and the story won't change in the end. Ding Zi pursed his lips, suddenly stretched out his left hand and quickly formed seals. Within a few seconds, more than a dozen seals were completed. Gossip seal. Four symbols seal. Five elements seal. Seal the evil. Seal it for me. Naruto's body surface was instantly covered with dense inscriptions, as if he had a full body tattoo, which looked very intimidating. Tobarama and the Minato couple stared at Choko in amazement. They knew that Dingzi must have discovered something, but they didn't understand what it was that required so many sealing techniques. You should know that sealing techniques will also affect Naruto's own chakra flow. Even a monster as powerful as the nine-tailed fox can be defeated with just an eight trigram seal. There's no way Ding Zi didn't know this, but he did it anyway, which shows that the thing inside is far more terrifying than the nine-tailed fox. Naruto's body shook violently for a moment, then he slowly opened his eyes. Mom, I, Mom, oh no, I seem to have told the third generation about Miao San's affairs. But, but am I really wrong? I think only when everyone stops hiding things and puts themselves in each other's shoes can we truly understand each other. But I think this is wrong. Naruto held his head in pain, and Chuzi breathed a sigh of relief at this time. Naruto's struggle meant that the sealing technique was effective. Naruto's rewritten personality will take some time to adjust back. The things that affect him have been sealed by me for the time being. I'll deal with that thing later when I find a way to deal with it. Can we take a look? Tobarama's eyes glowed green as he looked at the seal on Naruto's heart. Whatever, but don't ask me anything. Hearing Choji's answer, Tobarama and the Minato couple looked at each other, and immediately put their hands on Naruto, and chakra flowed along their arms into the seal on Naruto's heart. This is still a dim space, which looks similar to the sealed space of the nine-tailed fox. And in the innermost solitary cell, there was something hanging in the air. The three of them looked at each other, walked forward cautiously, took a closer look, and immediately couldn't help but gasp. That's a person. No one recognized this person at all. He was wearing a white robe and had an old-fashioned hairstyle. It looked like the clothing was from a thousand years ago. At this time, his legs and hands were tied with thick iron chains, and he was hung in the air in the shape of a, big, character. You fool. Who are you? What is your purpose in being inside my son? Kashina's eyes immediately turned red, and she attacked the seal with a rumbling sound, as if she wanted to rush in and beat up the man. No need to shout, the other party is unconscious. Tobarama narrowed his eyes and said in a grim tone. I have seen this kind of dress in the texts of the Senju clan. This kind of robe embroidered with Magatama comes from the ninja clan thousands of years ago. It seems that the Magatama represents the identity of the wearer. The twelve Magatama represents the six path sage, who has the highest status in the ninja clan. Then there are the nine Magatama, six Magatama, three Magatama, double Magatama, and single Magatama. He is the nine Magatama. Minato looked closely and saw that the man's clothes were embroidered with nine Magatama around his neck. Tobarama nodded slightly. So I suspect this man is at least at the management level of the ninja clan, but that's all the information I know. The rest is only known by that little devil outside. The three of them had complicated expressions when they thought of this. They initially suspected Chuzi and even suspected that he wanted to destroy the ninja world. But they didn't know when it started, but they began to believe everything Ding Zi said. About Uchiha, about the ninja world and everything. The man in front of him was a strong proof of everything Ding Zi said. The evidence was already here. Someone was really lurking in the dark. Their purpose, their strength, and their origins are all a mystery. But could a monster that has survived from thousands of years ago be a weak person? Even someone as strong as Hashirama Senju, 
the god of ninja, is dead. How strong are these people? After exiting the sealed space, the three of them were silent. Naruto looked at his parents blankly, his eyes somewhat dim. Mom, am I, not myself anymore? Kashina's heart tightened, and she leaned over and hugged Naruto. Naruto, no matter what you become, you are still my son. I will always love you and support you. Naruto was greatly encouraged, and after hugging Kashina, he looked at the others. Well, I want to ask you, should I seek revenge? The three of them were silent at this time. Tobarama naturally didn't want to get involved in these things. To him, whether Naruto took revenge or not had nothing to do with him. The reason why Kashina and Minato hesitated was because they now had a choice, and they didn't want Naruto to carry hatred for the rest of his life. Nian-san, you must know that, right? Naruto saw that everyone was avoiding his gaze, so he immediately grabbed Choko and looked into his eyes hopefully. Ding Zi shook his head and said solemnly, Whether you seek revenge is your business and has nothing to do with me. But if you ask me, I can give you a word. What? Say it now. Naruto excitedly pulled at Choko's clothes, and Tobarama and the Minato couple also looked over. Ding Zi looked deep in his eyes and patted Naruto's shoulder. Repaying resentment with virtue, why repay virtue? When these words came out, Tobarama and Minato couple were shocked. They had never heard such remarks before, but when they thought about it carefully, it made a lot of sense. Just eight words have summarized so many life lessons. Very insightful. At the same time, the way he looked at Ding Zi was completely different, even with a little respect. Not understand. Naruto's eyes dimmed again. This sentence was too profound. He didn't understand it. He really couldn't figure it out. Naruto, you are still very young and you need time to grow up. When you grow up and your little head becomes smart, you will understand the meaning of this sentence. Then you can decide whether to help your parents get revenge. Naruto felt his mother's warmth and gradually became more determined. Oh, just watch me, mom. I will definitely grow up well and show you. Okay. Ding Zi clapped his hands, attracting everyone's attention before saying. Naruto, I'm going to take you out now. The third Hokage and Jiraiya are waiting outside. After you get out, if the third generation asks you anything, just tell him that you were controlled by an illusion before, and I helped you break the illusion. No matter what else he asks, just say you don't know. Naruto nodded, and then his voice became a little hoarse. Jiraiya, is he father's teacher? Minato's face froze, and just as he was about to speak, Kashina's fist appeared in front of him. Tell the truth to your son. If you dare to tell me about your difficulties, I will let you experience them. Minato laughed awkwardly, thought for a long time, and then said awkwardly. Teacher Jiraiya is a very good person, but his personality may be a little unruly. I understand. Naruto's eyes were clear. He has no obligation to take care of me. It is a favor for him to help my father take care of me, and it is also his duty not to help. But since he didn't come before, he shouldn't appear in front of me as an elder now. Naruto said as he looked at Choji. Nianka-san, can I learn ninjutsu from you in the future? Those ninjas in the root all say that you are very strong. Please teach me. I actually learned all the ninjutsu that Danzo taught me before, but Kurama kept making trouble and prevented me from unleashing them. Ju Lama was immediately displeased when he heard this, and his deep voice immediately appeared in his soul space. Hey you rude brat, I was trying to save you. If Danzo saw your talent, do you think you could still come out? Ding Zi, teach this brat a lesson. I also have something I want to talk to you about. No problem. Choji nodded in agreement, and after letting Naruto say goodbye to his parents, he took him out of the soul space. Then, while Naruto was in a daze, he lifted Naruto's collar and walked to the door, whispering. Go away. Chuzi kicked out, and Naruto screamed and flew out of Chuzi's house like a rocket, falling heavily into the trash can. Nian San, you're too much, my butt, you can still curse in the street, it seems that you are fine. Ding Zi smiled slightly, he used the rubbing force in this kick, so Naruto would not be hurt. At most, he would just fall badly. The next second after Ding Zi closed the door, the Anbu ninjas instantly surrounded Naruto, and the third generation also rushed forward anxiously to check Naruto's seal. The eight trigram seal on Naruto's stomach was intact, 
but the five elements seal placed by the previous three generations was broken. At this time, if the third generation pulled his clothes up a little bit, he would be able to see another seal on Naruto's heart, but the anxious third generation just took a quick look and let go of Naruto's clothes. It must have been Danzo who untied it. Naruto wasn't hurt. Take Naruto back to the Hokage building first. I'll be here later. After the Anbu took Naruto away, Jiraiya walked out of the alley with a complicated expression. The third Hokage said in a hoarse voice, Won't you come and meet him with me? Jiraiya smiled bitterly and shook his head, he was not ready to face Naruto yet. And I don't want to meet you this way. I'll meet him when I'm ready. If nothing else, I'll go take a rest, old man. Ah, I'm so tired after running all the way. Watching Jiraiya leave, the third Hokage didn't say much and quickly returned to the Hokage's office. At this time, the three Hokage assistants and Nara Shikaku were already waiting in the office, while Naruto was sitting on the sofa eating. Seeing Serutobi Hiruzen coming in, Naruto stood up excitedly. Third generation grandpa, can I go home now? It's so boring here. The Sanda touched Naruto's head kindly, sat down beside him and said softly. I have a few more questions for you, Naruto-chan. Once you're done I can let you go. Oh, then ask the third generation grandfather. Seeing Naruto's cooperation, the third Hokage was quite satisfied, and then said with a deep look in his eyes. What did Ding Zijin do after bringing you home? Naruto seemed to suddenly remember something at this moment and grabbed the third Hokage's hand. This scene made everyone's breathing stop and they couldn't help but become nervous. Third generation grandfather, let me tell you. I was caught in a genjutsu. The last thing I remembered was that I was sleeping at home, and when I opened my eyes I saw Miao San. He also told me that I was being controlled by an illusion and asked me to be more careful next time. After these words were spoken, all five people present fell into a daze. Illusion, Sarutobi Hiruzen frowned and held Naruto's hand tightly. Did he really say that? Don't lie to grandpa. Naruto nodded as a matter of course. Yes, I felt like I just took a nap and woke up at Miao San's house. Miao San is a good man, and he even said he would teach me ninjutsu. Oh, third generation grandfather, I vaguely seem to remember someone talking about my parents. Do you know who my parents are? The third representative's expression froze for a moment, then he became ecstatic. Children's thoughts are simple and it's impossible for them to have such deep thoughts, so he really doesn't remember it. Naruto hasn't discovered who his parents are, so the third generation can use the strategy of appeasement again to make Naruto surrender. This is great news. Thinking of this, the third generation looked at Naruto solemnly. Naruto, you are still too young. You can find out about your parents' affairs yourself when you grow up. All right Naruto, go back. Oh, Naruto stood up and walked towards the door with some disappointment, but a cold light flashed in his eyes when he opened the door. Hey kid, don't show hostility to people who are stronger than you, they will find out. Hearing the voice of Kurama inside his body, Naruto immediately restrained his expression, closed the door, and ran away happily. Shikaku looked at the closed door and fell into deep thought, and he caught the change in Naruto's expression in that instant. What do you think? The third generation was silent for a long time before he looked at everyone. Danzo and the other two old guys lowered their heads and didn't say anything. In fact, some things didn't need to be said. After all, none of them realized whether Naruto was really under the illusion. Hokage-sama, I think what Naruto said might be true. Nara Shikaku's words attracted everyone's attention, and he slowly analyzed. First of all, Chuzi didn't dislike Naruto's identity and became friends with him. And Naruto is a very loyal person. This alone is enough to prove that he couldn't suddenly come and say those words after Chuzi left. Children's minds are very pure. They will respond with kindness to those who are kind to them. And the timing of Naruto's arrival was very strange. It happened to be the day after Choji left. So I suspect that Naruto is really being manipulated by an illusion and the person behind this has several purposes. The first is to sow discord between Konoha and Choji. The second is to confuse people and hide the real murderer of the Nine Tails Rebellion, shifting our attention to a dead person. And the third is to cause war. Once Konoha and Kumobikur go to war, the desperate Choji will definitely attack the village, and the people behind the scenes can completely reap the benefits. 
When Nara Shikaku said this, he felt sad. Only he himself knows how much he has concealed. The one who caught the two tails Jinchuriki was Choji, and Naruto's eyes just now. At this time, Shikaku had already figured it out. It was true that Uzumaki Naruto was controlled by illusion. After all, if it weren't for Naruto, Choji would probably not have become an enemy of the village. So we should be skeptical about what Naruto said before. It remains to be seen whether it was Uchiha Obito who attacked Konoha on the night of the Nine Tails. But everything that happened after that was just nonsense from Shikaku. He just hoped that the village would take their eyes off the cat-eared lily and stop provoking the cat. The third generation also nodded in agreement at this time. He had no doubt about Nara Shikaku's intelligence, and the other party's analysis had never been wrong. Moreover, the Nara clan is also a staunch Hokage clan. The most important thing is that the third generation also understands that this period of time is not the time to settle the internal affairs. Even if he thinks that the cat has malicious intentions, so what? Do we really want to go to war with him? Impossible, the Hidden Cloud clan is watching closely, and the Uchiha clan is also ready to make a move. Even if this matter is related to the cat, I can only swallow my anger and accept it now. In that case, then Naruto doesn't need to pay any more attention. But we still need to continue collecting information about the mysterious man of the nine-tailed knight. Now let's talk about the negotiations with Kumogakur. On the other side, Ding Zi staggered to the Uchiha clan's territory. At this time, the Uchiha clan had returned to their clan territory inside Konoha, and the entire Uchiha clan was filled with a joyful atmosphere. When the Uchiha people saw Ding Zi, they nodded respectfully and even spontaneously made way for Ding Zi. They arrived at the master's house without any obstruction, and Uchiha Makoto enthusiastically made tea for Choko. Ding Zijin, you came at a very bad time. My husband has to go out on a mission. How about I prepare some food for you? Can you wait for a while? Although Uchiha Makoto spoke very politely, Chuzi still keenly noticed that something was wrong. Too polite, Chuzi closed his eyes and opened Kagura's mind, and soon a mocking smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Fugaku is not at home. Who is the one who teaches Uchiha Itachi in the backyard? How could Chozi not understand Fugaku's meaning at this time? Why did he avoid him and not want to talk about the follow-up? No, I'm leaving now. Not long after leaving Makoto's house, Chuzi heard a few Uchiha clan members discussing something in a low voice. Have you heard? Itachi from the team leader's family has joined the Anbu of the Hokage department. Really, are we Uchiha going to have a Hokage? This is great. We Uchiha don't have to worry anymore. Listening to the discussion around him, Ding Zi's face became more and more sarcastic. His main reason for coming this time was to see Sasuke, but since Uchiha had this attitude, there was no need to do so. What does Sasuke's death have to do with Ding Zi's business? Mind your own business and have less diarrhea. Humph, this Fugaku is just a short-sighted fellow. He doesn't have the vision to inherit the class at all. For a guy like him to become the clan leader, the Uchiha clan is really in decline. At this moment, Toborama was angry for Choko, but Choko didn't have any emotion. After all, Chuzi has made full use of the Uchiha. It doesn't matter whether they are included in the subsequent plans or not. As long as they exist, Chuzi has achieved his goal of balancing the village. Moreover, Fugaku did not listen and still accepted the benefits from the third generation, not knowing that all the gifts from fate were secretly marked with a price. Uchiha Fugaku will regret it in the future. Uchiha Fugaku's mentality of being content with a small fortune will always lead him to his doom. The following week went by very uneventfully for Ding Zi, who spent every day treating Hinata's body and teaching her how to practice. Of course, Choko might be the only one in the whole Konoha who is so relaxed. Ever since the events of the Hidden Cloud Village spread, the entire Konoha was once again shrouded in a haze, and everyone was trembling with fear, fearing that war would happen again. The Konoha high-level officials were also extremely worried and had to negotiate with Kumogakur many times. But Kumogakur refused to give in, and even made a huge offer. The Fire Country Daimyo certainly could not accept the Lightning Country's conditions, which brought the negotiations to a complete deadlock. In fact, the cages on both sides are not fools. At this point, they can see that this incident was definitely not done by Konoha. 
but the losses of Kumogakur were real. It is meaningless to explore the people behind this at this time. They must get a piece of meat from Konoha to make up for their losses. This is why the negotiations are still at a stalemate. Neither side wanted to fight. After all, the poor Onoki became furious when he heard that there was another conflict between Kumogakur and Konoha, and he was massively mobilizing troops. As long as Konoha Kumogakur starts a war, Iwagakur will also join the battlefield. Onoki was too poor, and there were too many people in the village and not enough food. One of the main purposes of his war was to reduce the population, because if the status quo continued, Iwagakur would be dragged down by the population. Not every village can afford to support so many ninjas like Konoha. What? In the training ground, Hanada was doing rehabilitation training in her training clothes. At this time, Hanada's soft fist was less agile and more ruthless. Seeing Chuzi coming over, Hanada wiped the sweat off her head. Master Dingzi, I, I want to go home and see. Go back, they won't dare to embarrass you. Ding Zi sat contentedly on the chair next to him, but Hanada shook her head quickly. Um, no, I want, I want. Hanada hesitated for a moment, then closed her eyes and said in one breath, I want to go back home and come to Master Ding Zi's place to practice during the day. Ding Zi lowered his eyes, as if he was lost in thought. Hanada waved her hands quickly and said, I will not put myself in danger this time and cause trouble to Lord Ding Zi again. If there is any danger, I will definitely communicate with the spirit immediately. And, and, I, I want to prove myself. I don't want to be Lord Chuzi's vassal, nor do I want to be someone who is protected. I want, I want to be myself, I want to prove myself. I am Hayuga Hanada, whether they admit it or not, I am the eldest daughter of the Hayuga clan. Prove yourself, Chuzi looked at Hanada, still worrying about something. If Hanada returns to the Hayuga clan, then all the efforts made during this period may be wasted. After all, Hanada can now say, I am the eldest daughter of the Hayuga clan, which is not a simple thing. It is very difficult to build confidence in an autistic person. Ding Zi also spent countless efforts to achieve this step, and he had a hunch that the next reward was not far away. If we put Hanada back now, what if that blind guy Hiyashi suppresses Hanada again? No. When did I become so mercenary? Ding Zi slapped himself and said, I have many ways to become stronger. There is no need to embarrass a little girl. At worst, I don't want the samsara eye anymore. At worst, I will be a cat for the rest of my life. Thinking of this, Ding Zi reached out and placed his hand on Hanada's head with a warm smile on his face. I never felt like Hanada was causing me any trouble. If you want to go back, go back. Open their eyes and make them regret looking down on you. Hanada's face was visibly red. It's too close, so close. I can smell the scent of Master Ding Zi. When facing the cat form Choji, Hanada can touch or hug him whenever she wants, but after Choji turns back into human form, Hanada turns into a steam princess again. I, I know. Hanada's voice was weak, as if she was about to die at any moment. Ding Zi couldn't help but smile. Okay, let's go. Hanada happily changed her clothes and left Choko's house. At this time, not far from Ding Zi's house, Naruto was pacing on the road anxiously. He was a little afraid to go to Ding Zi's house. I can't say why, I just feel a little scared. I am afraid that I am not talented enough and will disappoint my parents. Not far away, a white-haired man was staring at this side, his eyes looked a little vicissitudes. Naruto has been hanging around here until midnight these past few days. Is he going to that Chuzi's house? The Sandame said that Chuzi agreed to teach Naruto. Of course, Minato's disciple can only be taught by me, the Toad Sage Jiraiya. Thinking of this, Jiraiya instantly appeared on the wall a few steps away from Naruto and struck a pose that he thought was very handsome. Naruto naturally noticed this scene, but after seeing the big, oil, character on Jiraiya's forehead, he left the place without looking back and continued walking at the next intersection. Didn't you see me? Jiraiya moved closer again, leaning against the electric pole as if thinking. Naruto frowned upon seeing this and took a few steps away. This time Jiraiya was sure that Naruto didn't see him, but just didn't want to pay attention to him. Hey kid, don't you know me? I'm a famous. Ah, you are Jiraiya, I know. Naruto's eyes were still locked on the door of the Choji residence and his tone of voice was very calm. 
Jiraiya stumbled, not expecting Naruto to recognize him. He hurried over and said seriously. Don't wait any longer. Since you don't dare to go find him, how about learning from me? No, thank you. Naruto's expression didn't change at all, but Jiraiya's defense was broken, and he immediately shouted. You don't understand who you are rejecting. I am one of the three ninjas. I know who you are, your identity, and your strength. But I don't want to learn from you. It's that simple. Uncle, do you have any questions? Naruto finally lost his patience. Jiraiya's expression gradually became serious, and he stopped those weird postures. He squatted beside Chuzi and whispered. If you know me, why don't you want to study with me? Why should I learn from you? Naruto asked a question in return, leaving Jiraiya speechless. He wanted to say that Naruto's father was his apprentice, but he didn't say it in the end. You want to be a Hokage, right? Then you should learn from me. After all, the former fourth Hokage, Minato Namikaze, was my disciple. I see that you are very kind and I want to teach you. Need not, Jiraiya said a lot, but Naruto replied with two words expressionlessly. Jiraiya suddenly became more serious, grabbed Naruto's arm and said, Be obedient, follow me, and I'll let you see my strength. Then you'll definitely beg me to learn from you. Let me go. Naruto's eyes focused and the nine tails chakra immediately appeared around his body, scaring Jiraiya so much that he instantly dodged to a few meters away from Naruto. Just when Jiraiya was about to take action, the lazy voice of Dingzi suddenly sounded in their ears. Come in, Naruto, don't use Kurama's power recklessly. Yes, Naruto was delighted and ran into the gate of Choji's house. Jiraiya looked at the gate with a serious expression, as if there was a flood or a beast inside. Do you want to go in? Jiraiya also wanted to leave, he had heard from many people how dangerous this place was. But when he thought that Naruto had also gone in, he gritted his teeth and walked in. He couldn't bear to see Naruto in danger. After entering the gate, Jiraiya showed a look of surprise. The decoration of this courtyard was quite good, even more beautiful than a paradise on earth. Ding Zi was sitting on the tatami in the main room at the end, with three cups of tea in front of him. Did you know that I would come in too? Jiraiya was extremely alert, as he knew very well that there were no Anbu here. The third generation had arranged for the Anbu to follow them for several days before discovering that as soon as they arrived, they fell into an illusion and didn't see anything at all. Everything you see is fake. Since then, three generations have not arranged anyone to keep watch here. Nianka san we agreed before that you would teach me how to practice. Well, I won't break my promise. No, Jiraiya suddenly rushed over, pulled Naruto behind him and looked at Choji warily. I won't allow someone of unknown origin to teach. Naruto, Naruto can only be taught by me. Let me go, I want to go study with Miao-san. Naruto struggled hard, but Jiraiya looked angry. Naruto, listen, enough. Naruto suddenly shook off Jiraiya's hand and stepped back two steps. His eyes were no longer innocent as before, but were filled with cruelty and indifference. Who are you to control my fate? Jiraiya scratched his head anxiously. You don't know, you and I have a very strong connection. And I would never hurt you. Naruto suddenly laughed when he heard this, shook his head helplessly. Actually, you don't have to come to me, I wouldn't hate you. But look at what you're doing, Jiraiya-sama. You still don't dare to tell me about my father. Do you think I don't know? You, Jiraiya's eyes widened, he pointed at Naruto in disbelief, and swallowed hard. How did you know? Why didn't you tell the third generation about this? Did he teach you? Tell him so he can put another seal on me and carve the mark of eradication on my tongue. Naruto's voice was even louder than Jiraiya's, which really stunned Jiraiya. He opened his mouth, but in the end, nothing came out, and his expression was a little lonely. Naruto, I know I'm sorry for you, but things are really not what you think. Naruto raised his head and looked at Jiraiya very seriously, his tone sincere. Master Jiraiya, I don't care how things turn out, and I don't care what you think. I just want to avenge my parents. I'm not interested in playing ninja games with you, nor am I interested in playing guessing who my parents are with you. Sandame told you that Miao-san is not a good person, right? Because it was he who told me who my father is, and it was he who told me how much my mother loves me. 
If it weren't for him, I would still have thought that the third generation loved me very much and was the only one who didn't discriminate against me. Naruto lowered his head and looked extremely lost. It was Miao-san who told me how to repay kindness with evil. I asked Kakashi Senpei, and he explained that this sentence means that if we should tolerate those bad people with love, then how should we treat good people? I am the one who bears a blood feud, Master Jiraiya, no matter who you are, don't stand in front of me. Jiraiya opened his mouth and swallowed, looking at Chuzi in shock and then said anxiously. That was done by Danzo, not San. Do you believe what you said? Naruto wiped the tears from his eyes stubbornly. If I hadn't pretended not to remember anything, do you think I would still be standing here? When the third generation learned that I knew the names of my parents, he handed me over to the root without hesitation. If, Naruto took a deep breath, his eyes reddened and he said coldly. If I am controlled by someone again, I will release Kurama without hesitation and drag Konoha to be buried with me. Jiraiya was shocked by Naruto's thoughts, but after thinking about it, he suddenly realized that it was normal for Naruto to think so. Jiraiya also knew about what happened to Minato back then, so he gave up the idea of becoming Hokage very early on. If you become Hokage, you will really die. We'll be killed by three generations. So now he just wants to find the son of prophecy, fulfill his destiny of training heroes, and then live his life calmly. Jiraiya, now that we have come to this, please hand over the key to the seal. Chuzi looked at Jiraiya with a half-smile, and secretly lamented that Naruto had turned evil. But this was not a bad thing for Chuzi. Jiraiya immediately refused after hearing this. No, the Nine Tails is too dangerous, and Naruto is still young and not strong enough to control this power. And he's too impulsive right now. Naruto knew that no matter what he said, it would be useless, so he just shook his head calmly. Master Jiraiya, Kurama and I are very good friends. He was the one who protected me when I was captured by the root. He was also the one who comforted and encouraged me. I don't want you to say my friends are dangerous and evil anymore. I don't like it. Also, please stop controlling my life. Jiraiya looked at Naruto with complicated eyes and forced out an ugly smile. Really, so you and Kayubi have become friends. Then I would be stingy if I kept the key. Your father originally asked me to keep it for you. In that case, I'll give it to you. This key can open a seal in your body, allowing you to fully control the power of the Nine Tails. But if the Nine Tails loses control, you will also be completely controlled by the Nine Tails. Jiraiya summoned a toad and took out a scroll from the toad's mouth. After untying the scroll, he took out a yellow key. Naruto, I hope I can watch you untie the seal, if there is any emergency. Naruto nodded and agreed happily. I understand. Then, Miao-san, please. Naruto sat obediently in front of Chuzi. Chuzi and Jiraiya looked at each other, then both of them placed their hands on Naruto's seal, and appeared in the sealed space the next second. Looking up at the mountain-like nine tails, Jiraiya sighed with lingering fear. Even in the seal, the Kayubi is still so terrifying. HMPH, how can you measure my power? Naruto, just open the door in front of me. Oh, Naruto and Kayubi were very friendly. They snatched the key from Jiraiya's hand and ran over happily. Jiraiya wanted to speak up to stop them, but was stopped by Choko. At the moment when Jiraiya was stunned, the sealed door suddenly opened, and the wild breath of the nine-tailed fox rushed towards them, making everyone's robes rustle. Every cell in Jiraiya's body was on alert, ready to fight at any moment. However, the battle that Jiraiya imagined did not occur. The Nine Tails was still lying leisurely in the seal, but his tone was very gentle. Naruto, next you have to try to accept my chakra. This is not an easy task. As the amount of my chakra you use increases, the erosion of my chakra on you will also increase. If you can't handle it, you'll become a madman who only knows how to kill. I suggest you practice hard first, and then complete this step when you are older. Jiraiya's jaw almost dropped to the ground. Is this Kayubi? Is this the legendary evil nine-tailed fox that kills without blinking an eye? Are you sure this isn't a babysitter? What's with all this caring talk? And is this doting tone serious? Jiraiya slapped himself hard, wondering if he was dreaming. Naruto thought seriously about Kayubi's words for a few minutes before saying solemnly. Now that Miao-san is here, and with Master Jiraiya, 
even if I lose control I will be controlled, right? Jiraiya's face froze. He didn't dare to make any guarantees, because that was the nine-tailed fox. But he didn't want to lose face in front of Naruto, so he could only grit his teeth and laugh. Of course, I'm the Toad Sage. Kayubi opened his eyes slightly and snorted in disdain. If Dingzi were here, you could try it. Jiraiya was choked by the Nine Tails and started coughing violently. Just as he was about to debate with the Nine Tails, Naruto slapped his head. Then it's decided, let's try it now, and many more. Choji held down Naruto who wanted to try it immediately, glanced at Jiraiya and said softly. So Jiraiya, what are you going to do when you go back about what happened today? Jiraiya was stunned for a moment, then began to think seriously. To be honest, everything I saw today was too outrageous. Naruto already has the potential to become a perfect Jinchuriki, and it is only a matter of time before he becomes a perfect Jinchuriki. Another point is that the celebrities hate the Konoha high-level officials very much. Should these two points be made known to others? If this were to get out, there was no doubt about how the higher-ups would treat Naruto. They would definitely reinforce the seal and put Naruto in jail, and would only release him in times of war. After asking himself, Jiraiya found that he could not do such a thing. Jiraiya had already felt very sorry for Minato's family in the Nine Tails Rebellion, and Naruto was Minato's child. As a master, he could not bear to see Naruto imprisoned. Alas, I didn't see anything today. Ding Zi nodded slightly and nodded with satisfaction. In that case, let's go to another place. After saying that, Chuzi exited the sealed space. Naruto and Jiraiya followed Chuzi out and looked at him with confusion. Ding Zi didn't explain, he grabbed the shoulders of the two men and flashed away. Jiraiya felt the world spinning around him, and when he opened his eyes again he found himself in some deep forest in the mountains somewhere. The dense bushes prove that no one has been here for a long time. And in the crack of the stone under his feet, there was a kunai stuck in it. You, Jiraiya pointed at Ding Zi with trembling fingers, his pupils trembling violently, and his breathing became rapid. Thousands of words stuck in my throat, but I couldn't say them. Ding Zi can actually fly thunder god. Stop talking nonsense, Naruto, start now, I'll watch you outside. Jiraiya looked at Chuzi deeply, then said seriously. I'll go in with you. Soon Naruto and Jiraiya both closed their eyes. In less than five minutes, orange-red chakra-like magma began to emerge from Naruto's body surface. A black dot appeared in his clear blue eyes and was expanding rapidly. Naruto, stay true to yourself, think about your parents and your enemies. You can't even face him with your current strength. Are you sure you want to give up? Ding Zi let out a loud cry. Jiraiya, who was ejected at this time, was already ready to summon spirits at any time. Naruto was struggling visibly at this time. I don't. The chakra on Naruto's body became thicker and thicker, gradually submerging Naruto, leaving only his head outside. Fox pupils had appeared in his eyes. Naruto, it's not too late to give up now. The Nine Tails voice sounded in Naruto's body, but Naruto shook his head firmly. I can, hold on. Kuroma, give me all your power. Boom, as Kurama released his chakra control, the ominous aura on Naruto exploded like a volcano, and the huge wind and waves blew Choji and Jiraiya back again and again. Jiraiya, it's time to take action. With a loud bang, hundreds of diamond chains appeared behind Ding Zi. Seeing this scene, Jiraiya finally breathed a sigh of relief. At the same time, he also understood why Ding Zi had the confidence to let Naruto try. Roar, Naruto roared towards the sky, his eyes filled with chaos and brutality locked onto Choji and Jiraiya, and the next second he opened his mouth and a tailed beast ball began to condense. Flying Thunder God, Shish, Chuzi appeared behind Naruto and immediately threw diamond chains at him in an attempt to tie him up. But the nine tails behind Naruto immediately stretched out, using their strength to fight against the King Kong blockade. The technique of messing up the lion's hair. Jiraiya also quickly joined the battle, his hair whistling out behind him, tying Naruto tightly, and then he and Choji worked together to gather Naruto's nine tails. Roar, Naruto roared unwillingly, his tail gradually lost strength, and was finally tied up tightly by the diamond seal. Chakra began to recede like the tide. Jiraiya dodged and caught the unconscious Naruto. His face was solemn and he said. No, 
We can't practice this technique anymore. Naruto's body is full of scars from the Nine Tails Chakra. If he continues like this, he will die. Put him down, he can. Ding Zi's expression remained unchanged as he sat quietly on the stone beside him. Do you want to kill him? What is your purpose? Jiraiya angrily stepped forward and grabbed Chuzi's collar, but Chuzi remained calm and shook his head slightly. Don't you ever ask for the opinions of the parties involved before making a decision. Oh, you are used to making decisions for others, right? He is still young, he doesn't understand. He understands. Jiraiya was about to explain, but Chuzi suddenly stood up and said coldly. He understands better than you. It wasn't your parents who were killed. It wasn't you who was ostracized by the whole village. It wasn't you who was plotted against by the higher-ups. So you can be so condescending and say he's still young and doesn't understand, right? Jiraiya was so angry that he could not help but activate the sage mode. At this moment, Naruto woke up and said in a hoarse voice. Uncle Jiraiya, I can do this. Kulama, let's do it again. You are really. Do you know that others have to fight with the tailed beasts to get this kind of chakra? Show some courage, kid. The nine tails roared, and the chakra in its body once again rushed towards Naruto as if it were free. The nine tailed fox's tails condensed again behind Naruto, one, two, three, five, eight. When he reached the eighth level, Naruto once again showed obvious tailed beast mode, that is, his pupils changed and his consciousness began to blur. Hold on, Naruto. Mom believes in you. Suddenly, Kashina's heart-wrenching voice appeared in Naruto's ears, and his pupils suddenly became clear. Mom, I heard your feelings. I will never give up. Ku Lama, give me more. That's more like it, you little brat. Kurama excitedly contributed more chakra once again, and the ninth tail was slowly pulled out. Ah, Naruto knelt on the ground and screamed in pain. Jiraiya immediately shouted anxiously. Didn't you say it was okay? What's wrong with you Naruto? His vitality is rapidly weakening. You must find a solution. At this time Ding Zi was also confused. Logically speaking, Naruto shouldn't be like this. Suddenly, Choji suddenly remembered something and immediately grabbed Naruto's shoulders and said in a deep voice. Naruto, don't resist Kurama. If you and him can't achieve unity of mind, you will never be able to use this chakra. Ding Zi, whose consciousness was already blurred, vaguely heard Ding Zi's voice, and the next moment his consciousness suddenly appeared in a completely unfamiliar environment. There seems to be a lake here, and the ground reflects the blue sky and white clouds. It looks like Naruto is standing in the sky. It is a picturesque scene. In the distance, Nine-Tailed Fox was folding his arms and snorting arrogantly. Naruto slowly walked to Kurama's side, curled up and leaned against him, and after a while he said sadly, I'm sorry, Kurama, I'm holding you back. Kayubi snorted coldly. Who told you not to trust me? You are now on the border between life and death and could die at any time. Naruto's eyes dimmed. How can I trust others? Julama, no one has ever taught me how to trust. I lost my parents when I was born, and all I saw was being ostracized by others. Even the people I trusted the most were plotting against me. How can I trust others? Ju Lama's heart softened and he lay down helplessly. The man and the fox began to chat casually, the Nine Tails told his own story, the Six Paths Sage, and Naruto told his own past. I don't know how long it took, it seemed like a day, or maybe a month. Naruto and Kurama's bodies began to radiate pure white light, and their bodies began to gradually merge. This is, Naruto, you succeeded, wake up and go back to where you should be. You still have your parents' revenge to avenge, and there are still many things you haven't done. I will always be with you. Naruto suddenly woke up, tears flashing in the corners of his eyes. We did it. Kurama, looking at the little guy who saved him, Kayubi's eyes flickered. Us. Ha 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 ha. Yoshi. Boy, show me your strength. Oh, Julama, just watch. As Naruto finished speaking, Naruto in the outside world suddenly opened his eyes. At this time, Choji and Jiraiya were on edge, looking like they were about to fight at any time. When Naruto opened his eyes, both of them became alert. At this moment, the magma-like chakra on Naruto's body receded like the tide, transforming into a layer of golden outer coat that tightly adhered to Naruto's body. The two golden headbands behind him fluttered in the wind. 
At this moment, Naruto was in high spirits. Miao San. Is this, a success? Ding Zi finally breathed a sigh of relief. He could feel that Naruto's injuries were healing rapidly. Then he said with a complicated expression. Yes, you succeeded. Oh, I did it. Mom and Dad, did you see that? I did it. Naruto jumped up and down in joy, and before Jiraiya could come to his senses, nine tails shot out from behind him and a black chakra ball began to gather in the middle of the tails. It's tailed beast jade. Buzz. Swoosh. Boom. The tailed beast ball smashed into the distant mountains, causing the earth to begin to tremble. The top of the mountain almost instantly turned into a flat land. A mushroom cloud slowly rose, and the splashing water formed a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Oh, I'm so strong. Looking at the excited Naruto, Jiraiya had a complicated expression and some sadness in his eyes. He had only been away for a few years, but he had never expected that the little one in the cradle back then would have grown to such an extent. If the tailed beast ball had been thrown at him just now, he would probably have died on the spot. Nianka san I'm telling you, Kurama also said that I can sense bad intentions now. I can sense who the bad guys are. Hearing this, Jiraiya's pupils shrank, and he quickly ordered. Naruto, you are not allowed to use this ability in the village. Naruto glanced at Jiraiya, his mood calmed down a little, and he sneered. Uncle, do you think I don't know the ill intentions those people have towards me? Even without Ju Lama's ability, I can see it. But it doesn't matter. I just want to protect the people who love me. What do other people have to do with me? Nian San, let's have a fight. Hey kid, don't take me with you if you want to get beaten. When Kurama heard this, his hair stood up in shock. He could handle Chuzi, but now Naruto was like a father beating his son. There was no way he could fight back. It takes time to master strength. Right now, Naruto is just a kid holding a 40 meter long machete, but he doesn't know how to use it. What's more, Chuzi also has the natural enemy of chakra, the diamond chain. If the chakra is locked by that thing, the flow of chakra will stop immediately, and the nine tails will not be able to help at that time. Sure enough, the next second Naruto was grabbed by Chuzi and given a severe spanking. Nianka san, you are so cunning, aren't you? Why can't I beat you even though I can control Kurama's chakra? Seeing this, Jiraiya hurried forward to promote himself. That's because you are still too weak. You don't know any ninjutsu, nor are you good at taijutsu. You can learn from me, and I will teach you everything I know. After hearing this, Naruto squinted his eyes suspiciously and looked at Jiraiya. Oh, what can you do, uncle? Jiraiya quickly demonstrated. I know the technique of messing up the lion's hair. My hair can be used for attack or defense. I also know the Rasengan, which is your father's ninjutsu. I also know fire escape and summoning techniques. My summoned beast is very powerful. Naruto curled his lips. E.H. Really? But it seems that Miao San can also use the Rasengan, and there are balls that are more powerful than the Rasengan. Also, uncle, is your summoning beast as powerful as Miao San's? Jiraiya was a little embarrassed and looked to Choko for help. Ding Zi didn't spoil the show, and said softly. My Obokusen is also a very powerful sacred place. There you can learn the same sage mode as I did at Nako no MT. Their sage mode enhances physical strength, Ryachido's sage mode increases chakra strength, and Shimokage's mode increases recovery ability. And my cat ear mountain enhances perception and illusion abilities. You are free to choose. You can go anywhere except Longi Cave. The immortal mode of the four holy places including Maur Mountain is actually very simple to explain. Myoboku Mountain increases attack power, Ryachi Cave increases spell strength, and Wet Bone Forest increases physical fitness and blood recovery speed. Of course, the sage mode of the four holy places will all increase speed, reaction, strength and recovery ability to a certain extent, but the emphasis is different. That's it. How about it Naruto, do you want to learn from me? Jiraiya looked at Naruto's eyes hopefully. Naruto bit his fingers and struggled. Um, do not want. PFF. Jiraiya lost his balance and fell flat on his face. When he got up, he looked at Choko with a resentful look on his face. After all, if there was no Choji, Naruto would definitely learn from him. What are you looking at me for? Naruto has many options. In fact, I suggest that he learn the fairy technique of the wet bone forest. 
The recovery ability is very important to him. Okay, let's go back. Chuzi activated the sage mode and brought the two back to the yard. Jiraiya was silent for a long time before he tentatively reached out to touch Naruto's head. This time Naruto did not dodge. At least he could feel that Jiraiya was good to him. Naruto, how about I treat you to some ramen? I won't ask you to do anything anymore. Everything is up to you. Naruto thought for a while before looking up and saying. Then I want to hear my parents' story. Okay, ha 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 ha, then I know a lot. Your mother was. The two people, one big and one small, gradually walked away. Ding Zi did not stop them, but let nature take its course. Congratulations to the host for greatly changing Uzumaki Naruto's fate. The seal release time has been increased by two hours. Chapter 91 Hearing the system's long-awaited response again, Ding Zi was so moved that tears almost fell. It works. My direction is correct. As long as I change the fate of the characters in the original work, I can lift the seal. But this is too difficult. I have been working hard for two years for Naruto. Two years. System, do you know how I have been spending the past two years? I was walking on thin ice. Brother Bo Bing, you wasted so much time because you were weak. The cold voice of the system came, which hit Ding Zi hard. Then what should I do? What should I do? I can't beat a cage-level strongman. Fugaku has been copied by me, and I don't dare to fight him. How uncomfortable it is to be stared at. This time the system fell into complete silence, and Ding Zi couldn't help but sigh. If you want to go further, you can only rely on the eight gates. Once I have the Mangekio Sharingan, I will be at the level of cage. If my abilities are better, I will even be at the level of super cage. When the time comes, I will dare to wander around a little in the ninja world. Ding Zi closed his eyes, felt it for a while, and shook his head slightly. Now Ding Zi can only feel the first three gates, namely the opening gate, the rest gate, and the life gate. He cannot feel the injury gate located in the middle and lower part of the chest at all. Through the practice methods of the first three doors, we can know that only when the physical fitness reaches a bottleneck can we feel the next door. Ding Zi's physical fitness is simply not good enough now. If I practice in the normal way, it may take me 10 years to open the complete eight gates, or even longer. I don't have that much time. It seems I can only find a shortcut. Stroking his chin, Ding Zi immediately stared at Senju Tobarama in the soul space. Akiu, Tobarama sneezed and rubbed his nose, and the next second, Chuzi appeared in front of him with a smile. Tobarama took a few steps back cautiously and ruthlessly refused. Whatever you want to say, I refuse. Alas, I originally wanted to discuss with you how to train the next generation of Konoha, but since you are so heartless. And many more. Seeing that Ding Zi was about to leave, Tobarama gritted his teeth to stop Ding Zi and said suspiciously. Is this really your intention? Ding Zi looked innocent. What else? Do I look like a bad person? Picture. Ding Zi. Develop a technique that can control gravity. I want to create a gravity space for Hanada and Naruto to practice. This will speed up their practice to the maximum extent. Tobarama lowered his head and pondered for a few seconds, then shook his head and said. It's impossible to control gravity. That's the realm of bloodline limit. After saying this, without waiting for Ding Zi to be disappointed, Tobarama said to himself. But if it's about increasing the gravity within the range, I can try to modify the ceiling technique. Ding Zi was delighted and nodded quickly. Okay, but don't develop a forbidden technique. If you don't know how to be content, I know a little bit about fighting. During these years in Ding Zi's body, Tobarama could occasionally say some dirty words, which made Ding Zi laugh. Kashina came over curiously at this time. Ding Zijin, what do you mean by forbidden technique? Ding Zi glanced at Tobarama mischievously, then cleared his throat. It's like this. When Senju developed ninjutsu, any ninjutsu that wasn't water jutsu would be banned by the first generation, so someone made the following conversation to make fun of Tobarama. Tobarama. Jutsu. Hashirama. Water. Tobarama. No. Hashirama. Forbid. This is the famous principle of water banning jutsu. Any jutsu that is not water-based ninjutsu developed by Tobarama is a forbidden jutsu. Ha 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 ha. Kashina was stunned for a moment, then pointed at Senju Tobarama and burst into laughter, which made Tobarama so angry that his face turned green and he almost quit his job. 
After coaxing this old Tsunere for a long time to agree to develop ninjutsu, Dingzi exited the soul space and lay on the tatami. Like a cat without ideals, Hanada Hayuga's personality has changed, and the host's seal contact time is increased by two hours. Okay, Dingzi sat up suddenly. Sungai tribe. Ever since Hanada walked into the house, everyone looked at her strangely. There was awe in their eyes, but the eyes of the elders were filled with more disgust. Why is she back? I don't know. It's because of her that the patriarch, why didn't she die outside? How dare she come back after allowing outsiders to attack her own father? Hanada Shah, who was coming over, heard the discussion of the surrounding clan members and bowed quickly and said. Miss, they, don't listen to their nonsense. We still respect you very much. Hanada looked at the people around her indifferently. She could clearly feel the branch family's awe of her, and she could also see the disgust of the elders. I know, Shah, you don't have to worry too much. Let's go see father first. For the first time, Hanada displayed the aura of the eldest daughter of the main family. She walked in front calmly and composedly. Both her aura and demeanor attracted everyone's attention. Hanada Shah behind him couldn't help but have tears in her eyes when she saw this scene. My dear lady, you are no longer a child who needs my protection. That's great, that's great. Miss, wait for me. Hanada walked slowly into the newly restored main hall. Hayuga Hiyashi and the elders almost instantly locked their eyes on Hanada, squinting their eyes and looking her up and down. Hayuga Hiyashi had one arm empty, and when he saw Hanada's eyes full of rage. How dare you come back? How dare you come back? Get out! Hanada looked at her father, with no sadness or joy in her eyes, and then she swept her gaze towards the other elders. I am the eldest daughter of the Hayuga clan. I will always come back. Father, please sit down. Your wound has not healed yet. Please take care of yourself. Hanada walked slowly towards a chair, and Hayuga Natsu hurriedly pulled the chair out. After Hanada sat down, she stepped back slightly and stood by to wait. Because of pride, Hanada Shah's chest couldn't help but straighten up a little. You know, Hayuga Natsu has been taking care of Hanada since she was very young. Strictly speaking, Hayuga Natsu is Hanada's sister. She is naturally happy for Hanada's change. Elders, Hanada's voice is ethereal, like a lark, except that it lacks agility and has more indifference. If you have anything, you can come to me. Don't make things difficult for my father. I am willing to accept any solution you have. Whether you admit it or not, for the time being I am the heir of the Hayuga clan. Seeing the disdainful looks on the faces of several elders, Hanada's disappointment grew even stronger. There was shock in Hanada Hiyashi's eyes. Is this still his timid daughter? It's only been a week, why has she changed so much? I understand. Hanada chuckled and spoke. Her confident demeanor was 80% similar to that of Choji. You think my mother is pregnant with another child, and you think you can choose a new heir. It's a pity that you miscalculated. Hanada shook her head slightly and spoke coldly. No matter how you teach my sister, she and I are blood relatives after all. If I want to kill you, she can't stop me. We are a family, and you, can kill us at any time. As soon as these words came out, everyone in the audience was shocked. The group of old men in the elders, group were so angry that they blew their beards and glared, pointing at Hanada with trembling fingers. You, you, how dare you talk to us like that? You traitor to the Hayuga clan. Even if all the Hayuga clan died, we will never let you inherit the main family. We will never agree to it. Yes, even if we die, we will never agree to it. Although Hanada is small, her aura is very powerful. She swept her calm eyes over every angry elder group and opened her lips slightly. Since you want to die so much, maybe I should grant your wish. Anyway, as this is a family matter, the village shouldn't intervene, right? Hanada was about to bite her finger to perform the summoning technique, but Hayuga Hiyashi saw this and hurriedly stopped her. Stop, Hanada, we will handle the Hayuga clan's affairs ourselves, don't call that cat anymore. Hanada Hiyashi was sweating profusely. He had personally experienced the horror of that cat and never wanted to experience it again. He had a feeling that once the cat came over, no more than three people would be able to walk out of the house. You know, there are more than twenty people here. The elders all looked pale, and they lowered their heads, not daring to look Hanada in the eye. 
They didn't understand what was wrong with Hanada, who usually cried when she was under a little pressure. Why are you so calm? In fact, Hanada only figured it out in a moment. The Hyuga clan, my father, Lord Choko, and myself. The father has no choice either, he doesn't want his child to be labeled as a caged bird, but because of Hanada's cowardice, he may have to do so. This is why Hanada never resented her father. The real reason why he was in such a difficult situation was these hypocritical old guys. Hayuga Hiyashi may not be a good head of the family or a good father, but he is trying his best to protect Hanada. It's just the wrong way. Choko can hate Hiyashi, but she Hanada can't. This is what Lord Dingzi taught her, to think independently and analyze the situation, as other people's opinions may not necessarily apply to your own situation. Hanada has been thinking about these things during these days at the Cho family's house, and now she finally understands how she should face the Hyuga clan. Your goal has been achieved. Hanada slowly stood up, brushed off her clothes, and raised her head expressionlessly. My sister is about to be born. In this case, please stop making things difficult for my father and stop interfering in family affairs. From now on, I will return to the Hyuga clan and live at home. So give up your thoughts of deceiving me. I will leave enough summoning beasts in the Hyuga clan. From now on, my father, the Hyuga clan, and my unborn sister will all be protected by me. The main room is so quiet that you can hear a pin drop. Everyone looked at Hanada in astonishment, and Hyuga Hiyashi even rolled his eyes. He wondered if his daughter had fallen into some kind of illusion. But from the perspective of the white eyes, everything is normal. At this moment, Hanada's mentality is also changing. Before this moment, Hanada was actually taking advantage of the power of the other side, because Katir Mountain was standing behind her, so she was not afraid. But it's just that I'm not afraid, it's far from being confident. So she was suppressing her expression and using a blank face to cover up her guilt. But when she saw the expressions of these people and saw that they didn't dare to look her in the eye, Hanada realized how valuable the title of the eldest daughter of the Hyuga clan was. Only then did she realize that she could also be tough. It can also scare others. You can also command others. An emotion called self-confidence was growing in Hanada's heart, and a smile gradually appeared on Hanada's face. Hanada said softly with a sweet smile. My lords, do you need me to ask you to leave? You, just wait for me. The Zong family will never let you inherit. Humph. Rizu, take care of yourself. Rizu, look at the daughter you raised. She actually threatened the elders in this way. She has no respect for elders and is lawless. You need to reflect on this. Although the elders said the harshest words, they ran away at the same speed. In less than 30 seconds, more than 20 people ran away. Hanada, Hayuga Hiyashi and Hayuga Natsu were the only ones left in the main hall. Rizu looked at his daughter with a complicated expression, his lips moved, and then he put on a stern look. Hanada, what are you doing? How can you speak to an elder like that? Your mother and I taught you this. Hanada took a deep breath and shook her head. Father, you don't have to do this. I understand that you have no choice, but you are controlled by the elders. What's the point of teaching me? If you can really resist, why did you allow your sister to come into this world? Her coming here is used to delay time, right? Hanada Hiyashi choked and couldn't say anything. Yes, he himself is the one being controlled, so what can he teach Hanada? He couldn't even control the fate of his own children, and could only let the elders manipulate one of them to be marked with the caged bird mark. At least what Hanada did today made him feel proud for the first time in a long time. The mountain that was pressing on him seemed to disappear for a while, allowing him to really breathe a sigh of relief. Ever since his arm was broken, the elders have been putting more pressure on him, and there have even been calls within the clan to replace him. Hanada's words undoubtedly made the elders cautious and they will be more restrained in the future. But soon his brows furrowed again. If force could be used to suppress the rebellion, he would have fought with the council of elders long ago. Many things are not as simple as they seem. Power is important, but it is not omnipotent. Don't be obsessed with power that does not belong to you. As soon as Hanada Hiyashi said this, he regretted it. He also wanted to say something soft and ask about Hanada's recent situation. But the words somehow changed when they came to my lips. Hanada sighed when she saw her father was still so unkind. 
Perhaps if you wear the mask for too long, even you will forget what you really look like. I will find the answers, father, with my own eyes. I want to go see my mother. Seeing that Hayuga Hiyashi wanted to preach, Hanada directly said goodbye, blocking Hayuga Hiyashi's words in her throat. Well, that's good. Your mother is worried about you. Hanada nodded slightly, and just as she walked to the door, Hayuga Hiyashi behind her said in a deep voice. There will be a clan meeting tomorrow night. We will decide who will be the Hayuga clan's candidate if war breaks out again. You will also attend. Hanada Shah, who was following behind Hanada, trembled. The clan leader actually, actually allowed the eldest daughter to attend the clan meeting. This means that he tacitly allows the eldest lady to participate in family decision making, and even agrees to her entering the family's power circle. This is the approval of the patriarch. The eldest daughter came to the ancestral hall and caused a commotion. Not only was she not blamed, she even entered the core of the family. Even though this happened right in front of her, Hanada Shah felt dizzy, as if she was dreaming. Hanada was also slightly moved, but she quickly concealed it and said softly without turning her head. I will go, father, have a good rest. Watching Hanada leave, Hayuga Hiyashi touched his empty sleeves, his eyes a little distracted. If Hanada had shown even one-tenth of her mental ability earlier, Hayuga Hiyashi felt that she might not have done those things. He didn't trust anyone other than himself to teach Hanada, because if they failed, Hanada would be like a caged bird. Then Hanada will have to live under the shadow of the main family for the rest of her life. That was a situation where life and death were not under one's control. Although Hayuga Hiyashi didn't like Hanada very much and even felt a little disgusted with her, he couldn't bear to see that scene. No matter how bad Hanada is, she is still his, Hayuga Hiyashi's, child. At this time, Hanada had already arrived at her mother's door. Her mother was sitting on the tatami weaving clothes for her future child. When she saw Hanada, Mrs. Hayuga felt a lump in her throat and was about to stand up immediately. Hanada quickly walked over and gently pressed her mother's shoulders. Mother, if you are not feeling well, please do not stand up. I have been well taken care of by Dingzi sama and have not been wrong. Mrs. Hayuga was shocked at the way Hanada spoke at this moment, but she was more touched. Hanada, I'm glad you're okay. Don't blame your father, he can't do anything. I understand, mother, my little sister will be born soon, right? Mrs. Hayuga was startled, then smiled with wrinkles on the corners of her eyes. So it's a girl, did Master Choko tell you? Hanada nodded quickly. Yes, Master Cho said it was a very cute girl named Hanabi. Hanabi, what a nice name, but Hanada, this way mom won't be surprised by your sister's arrival. The mother and daughter laughed together for a moment, and only in this moment did Hanada remove a little bit of her disguise. She is used to disguising herself. Perhaps only in front of Ding Zi would she be completely defenseless. Hanabi, I hope you'll see us in the spring, mother. It should be earlier. She can't wait. She's completely different from Hanada. She's a lively kid. Touch her. She's saying hello to you. Mrs. Hayuga looked at Hanada lovingly as she placed her hand on her belly, and she couldn't help but touch Hanada's head. Hanada, my child, life must be hard. The next day. Early in the morning, Ding Zi reluctantly accepted a wave of facial cleanser. Ding Zijin, you smell so good, let me hug you. Ding Zi was forced to turn on the phone. He struggled out of Hong's arms and shook his head which was a little short of oxygen. You came here so early in the morning to murder me. Did the third generation ask you to come? Shiri Hong rolled her eyes coquettishly, then stood up and cleaned the room. Don't you know how to clean your room? I've been away for a week and your house already smells like a dead person. No girl likes a messy guy. Ding Zi was not moved at all by Shiri Hong's exaggerated description. Did the third generation ask you to come back and prepare for war? After Yuhi Kurunai put the garbage at the door, she skillfully put on an apron and walked into the kitchen. Probably not. War may not necessarily break out. I don't know what method the third cage used to temporarily stabilize the fourth cage rakage. Now both parties are in a weird honeymoon period. Kakashi may know some details, but he seems to be training recently. Hasn't he come to your place? Ding Zi shook his head and lay down on his belly again, his tail wagging. I haven't been here recently. Why are you so active? 
Shi He Hong paused, then ran over with a smile, squatted beside Ding Zi and looked at him pleadingly. I heard from Master Jiraiya that you have a special training method that can quickly increase your strength. Since I have time, I will cook for you and clean the house. Ding Zi could see things he shouldn't see when he tilted his head, so he immediately looked at his nose with his eyes and his heart with his nose. Okay, but don't tell anyone. By the way, what did Jiraiya say? Hong spread her five fingers and gathered her hair behind her head. She rubbed Ding Zi's soft belly and then walked back to the kitchen. He said that Naruto decided to train with you, and he was going to continue traveling around the ninja world. The Sandame disagreed, and then he explained that you had no ill intentions or something, but the Sandame looked like he didn't believe it. And he doesn't seem to want Jiraiya to leave. He's even looking for someone to recall Lord Orochimaru and Lady Tsunade. Soon Hong prepared a sumptuous breakfast. After the two of them had the meal, Hong couldn't wait to start training. Ding Zi waved his hand helplessly and took Hong into the realm of illusion. This is the secret place of Maur Mountain. Here you will see many copies of people you are familiar with. Don't worry, these are just copies. They will kill you without hesitation in battle. Of course, death here doesn't mean real death, so please do as you please. With a wave of his hand, Chuzi, Kakashi, Hayuga Hiyashi, Akamichi Chuza, Uchiha Fugaku, Jimmy Akijiro and his follower Masato appeared in front of Hong. Choose an opponent. Sunset Red's pupils trembled. As a janin, she knew too well the value of this place. How shocking it is to be in a place where one can fight a life and death duel without dying. Isn't what ninjas lack the experience of fighting life and death? Most ninjas died in life and death struggles, and only a few survived to the end and became janin. And if we can guarantee life safety and allow for life and death struggles, then wouldn't it be possible to mass produce Jonin? I, I choose Uchiha Fugaku. It's a good opportunity for me to experience the Sharingan's illusion. When Ding Zi heard this, the expression on his face suddenly became weird. It seems that Hong has good taste. He chose the strongest one among so many people. What's your expression? Ding Zi chuckled and took a few steps back meaningfully. It's okay. It's a little uncomfortable when you die for the first time. Don't worry. It's normal to feel dizzy. It will be fine in a while. Go ahead. With a wave of his hand, Ding Zi teleported Uchiha Fugaku and Yuhi Kurunai several kilometers away. Well, everyone is practicing, so it seems a bit inappropriate for me to be lazy. It's just right to collect the Yang Attribute Chakra, so that I can have all seven types of chakra. Yin Yang, Wind, Thunder, Water, Fire, and Earth. It's you, Akamichi Choza. A little bit of fighting spirit was ignited in Ding Zi's heart, and then everyone except Akamichi Ding Zuo disappeared, and Ding Zi also turned on the sage mode at the same time. Snapped. Ding Zi puts his claws together. Fire release. Dragon fire technique. Chu Daoding's eyes immediately lit up. Although he was fat, he was very flexible and did a few backflips to distance himself from the opponent. At the same time, he formed seals in the air. Water release water crush wave. Squeak, squeak, squeak. A large amount of smoke rose up, covering the surrounding space so that one could not see one's hand in front of one's face. But this fog was not an obstacle for the two. Ding Zi appeared beside Chu Dao Ding Zuo in a few flashes like an arrow from a bow, and at the same time, lightning flashed in his hand. Rachel, Chi 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 Chi. The terrifying thunder made the sound of thousands of birds chirping, and it roared over with terrifying power at an incredible speed. The art of doubling. Chu Dao Ding Zuo's palm suddenly expanded and slapped Ding Zi fiercely. The air made a humming sound under this blow. A cold light flashed in Ding Zi's eyes, and instead of retreating, he advanced, and his speed suddenly increased by three points. Boom. The big hands of Ding Zi and Akamichi Choza collided with each other, and Ding Zi's Chidori instantly broke through Akamichi Choza's skin, but after penetrating a few centimeters, it couldn't go any further. The power of Chidori became weaker and weaker, and gradually died out. And Akamichi Chuzuo just pinched him with his big hand as if nothing had happened. It seems like he wants to crush Ding Zi to death. Water release. Water dragon bullet technique. Ding Zi put his hands together, and several tons of water rushed out instantly. Taking advantage of the reaction force, Ding Zi quickly pulled away and inserted his hands into the water. Thunder escape earth walk. Sizzle, sizzle. The surface of the water flashed with lightning. 
This time, Chu Daodingzo finally felt the pain. He quickly retracted his enlarged hand and dodged a few times to create some distance. Lightning escape can cause damage, and fire escape should be able to do the same. But the rest of water, earth, and wind seem unable to break through the defense of his skin. He has a thick skin, which is really a troublesome ability. Ding Zi moved his wrist and said softly, Eight Gate Dunjia Sheng Gate, open. Boom, Ding Zi's fur began to turn red rapidly, like a steamed crab. A large amount of terrifying air currents appeared around it, and the hair on its body stood up. Whoosh, Ding Zi shot out like a bullet and appeared next to Akamichi Ding Zhou without any warning. He kicked the opponent's waist with a heavy whip kick. The terrifying force even made a sharp explosion in the air. Dwang, he kicked Akamichi Choza, and the fat on his waist suddenly trembled strangely. Choza felt as if all his strength was exerted on himself. The next second he flew backwards at a faster speed than when he came, and fell heavily into the building complex, punching through more than a dozen houses before landing in a cloud of smoke and dust. Chu Daodingzo looked at the smoke solemnly, and at this moment he heard a shrill sound. Senjutsu. Resenshuriken. Call out. A sharp sound of breaking through the air was heard, and a chakra ball like a shuriken drew an arc in the air and whizzed towards Akamichi Choza. Akamichi Choza quickly took out a red pill from his waist bag, stuffed it into his mouth, and swallowed it whole. Ding Zi saw the thing clearly, it was a chili pill. Akamichi Choza even skipped the spinach balls and curry balls and went straight for the hot pepper balls. As the chili pepper pill entered his throat, a chakra storm even more terrifying than Choji's erupted from Akamichi Choza's body. The chakras quickly gathered and formed a pair of chakra wings behind Ding Zuo. At the same time, Ding Zuo quickly formed seals with both hands. The art of super doubling. In just a breath of time, Ding Zuo's body suddenly grew in size and reached a height of 40 or 50 meters. The originally huge spiral shuriken looked like a ping pong ball in his hand. He casually stretched out his hand and grabbed the incoming spiral shuriken. With a light squeeze, blue chakra immediately overflowed from between his fingers like a deflated balloon. Meat Bullet Chariot Akamichi Choza rolled forward, and the hair behind him suddenly turned into countless spikes surrounding his body, and he himself turned into a huge ball of meat and rushed towards Choza. Wherever Ding Zuo passed, sand and gravel rolled. He was like a terrifying monster roaring and ready to tear everything in front of him to pieces. Ding Zi made a tisk sound and unwillingly turned into a human form. In fact, Ding Zi wanted to test his combat effectiveness as a cat, but it was obvious that his combat effectiveness was very poor. In terms of physical skills, the cat form is a mess. After all, all the physical skills experience that Chuzi obtained was from humans, so Chuzi's physical skills in cat form are not even as good as those of ordinary Chunins. The situation is similar with ninjutsu. If one wants to perform ninjutsu without seals, the only ninjutsu that Chuzi is familiar with is the one. Some ninjutsu that have been revealed but never used or practiced still require hand seals, otherwise the time to activate the ninjutsu may even be longer than the time to make hand seals. At this moment, Ding Zi quickly formed seals with both hands. Immortal Technique, Fire Release, and Fireball Technique. Raging, the fireball blasted away with terrifying heat that could melt space, hitting the horrible meatball and exploding into fireworks all over the sky. However, in the flames, the meatball continued to rush towards Ding Zi with undiminished power. Ding Zi frowned, took out dozens of kunai with both hands and threw them out casually. Boo! Accompanied by the sound of breaking through the air, the kunai whistled and flew towards Chu Dao Ding Zuo, but Ding Zuo seemed to be unconcerned and continued to sprint forward. Suddenly, the space twisted, and Ding Zi's figure appeared above the Akamichi Ding Zuo without any warning, and a large Rasengan condensed in his hand and pressed it hard downwards. Dwang, the large Rasengan was bounced away again, and just as the spikes on Akamichi Choza's body were about to pierce Choza's body, Choza's figure suddenly disappeared again. Akamichi Ding Zuo stopped, then turned around and rolled towards Ding Zi again. Ding Zi suddenly jumped up, and the huge tree under his feet turned into powder under the impact of Ding Zuo. At this moment, Ding Zi clapped his hands again. Earth escape yellow spring marsh. Gurgle. The soil under Ding Zuo began to churn, and a large amount of yellow mud surged out from the ground. At this moment, it was too late for Chu Dao Ding Zuo to escape. 
His terrifying weight caused half of his body to sink into the swamp immediately. Fire release. Dragon fire technique. Hold head high. The fire dragon roared and smashed towards Akamichi Choza below. Choza simply raised his head to block it, and the fire dragon was immediately split into two without causing any harm to him. Wind escape big breakthrough. Ding Zi formed a seal again and blew out a gust of wind from his mouth. The terrifying wind force pushed Ding Zuo a little deeper into the swamp. Dante didn't care, these ninjutsu couldn't hurt him at all. Under the super multiplication technique, his defense was increased a hundred times, which could not be broken by ordinary ninjutsu. It's done. Ding Zi, who was slowly falling from the sky, suddenly clapped his hands. Akamichi Dingzo frowned and was about to struggle out when he found that he couldn't move. Looking down, I found that the swamp beneath me had dried up without me noticing. Suddenly, Akamichi Choza suddenly recalled Choji's ninjutsu just now. He used fire ninjutsu to dry the ground, and then used wind ninjutsu to quickly cool it down, all in order to control the huge Akamichi Choza. At this moment, Chu Daodingzuo's eyes finally became serious. He formed seals with his hands and with a, bang, he returned to his normal shape. At this moment, Choko's ninjutsu suddenly came. Water release. Water dragon bullet technique. Boom. The water flow like a waterfall pressed back Akito Choza who wanted to jump out of the huge pit. The strong feeling of suffocation made his chakra burst out, and the wings behind him flapped quickly, carrying his head out of the water. Ho. Oh. As soon as he took a breath, Akamichi Choza saw Choji appear on the shore not far away, with the ninjutsu in his hand already formed. Rachel, sizzle, sizzle, well, a terrifying electric current exploded in the water, and Akamichi Choza's entire body began to shake violently, and black smoke began to emerge from his body. As the light of Reikiri faded, the chakra on Akamichi Choza's body slowly dissipated, the butterfly wings behind him shattered, and then he fell heavily to the ground. Congratulations to the host for killing Konoha's John and Akamichi Choza and obtaining part of the multiplication technique. Good, go ahead. It's easy to deal with as long as you don't let him take medicine. Ding Zi started fighting again. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the super multiplication technique. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the meat bullet tank. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the human bomb tank. Congratulations to the host for obtaining Yang Attribute Chakra. Congratulations to the host for obtaining all of Akamichi Choza's chakra. It was not until Chu Daodingzo was completely plucked out by Dingzi that Dingzi nodded in satisfaction. I have Yang attribute chakra now. I can practice the starlight sublimation technique now. Dingzi sat cross-legged, his body surface began to emit a faint fluorescent light, and the cells in his body began to shake regularly. The lightning snakes moved inside the cells, constantly strengthening the cells. What was different from before was that the chakra in Ding Zi's body began to transform into Yang chakra, and the milky white Yang attribute flowed into the cells and began to nourish every cell. Whenever cells are exhausted, the warm Yang chakra will quickly arrive, surround the cells and inject more vitality. This tingling, numb and sour feeling is so addictive that it was more than an hour later when Ding Zi came to his senses. Ding Zi clenched his fists, and all the bones in his body made crackling sounds like popping beans. One hour of training is equivalent to a month of hard physical training. And with the Yang attribute chakra, not only is the vitality of the cells not consumed, but it is strengthened a lot. At this rate, I will be able to reach the fourth gate of the eight gates in three months at most. It's just that the chakra consumption is a bit fast. Ten calories of chakra are consumed in one hour. An ordinary jhanan can only practice for a maximum of ten minutes a day, and this is the result of three training sessions. My chakra level is about 63 cards now, and I can practice for 6 hours without stopping. Ding Zi stretched and yawned, looking in the direction of the Shirahong battlefield. At this time, a huge blue giant was attacking the ground frantically. Every blow of its terrifying power could make the ground tremble violently. The surrounding buildings had been completely destroyed, leaving only ruins within a radius of 10 miles. In less than 30 seconds, the battle was over. Shihi Kurunai slumped on the ground with her head in her hands, her slender white thighs crossed together, tears streaming from the corners of her eyes, she really looked like a sickly beauty. Yo, hearing Ding Zi's voice, Shiri Hong hugged Ding Zi's neck with resentment, and rubbed his head fiercely with red eyes. You fool, 
You must have known this a long time ago, right? Is Uchiha Fugaku's strength here the same as in reality? Ding Zi looked at Shiri Hong meaningfully. What do you think? Shihi Hong widened her beautiful eyes in astonishment, then stretched her slender neck and swallowed hard. In the past hour or so, Hong died more than twenty times. It is undeniable that her strength increased very rapidly, and she even had more inspiration for new illusions. But none of these are as shocking as Ding Zi's words. Uchiha Fugaku actually hides such powerful strength. Have you got his intelligence? Chuzi glanced at Uchiha Fugaku in the distance. The wounds on his body were healing rapidly and after a few breaths, no injuries could be seen. He is very strong in fire style, and has a very impressive shuriken control technique. His eyes are the Mangekio Sharingan you mentioned before, and the ability of his right eye is a strange black flame that will kill anyone who comes into contact with it. The flame cannot be extinguished unless the part that is contaminated by the flame is cut off. I can't see the ability of his left eye, but I have a guess that his ability is probably some kind of ability to predict the future. When fighting with me, he was always able to predict my fatal attacks, but this prediction should not last long. I estimate it to be within five seconds. The illusions used directly on him are basically ineffective, but the illusions used on the surrounding areas are still effective. His own illusions are also very strong. The last one is the chakra giant just now. That's the most troublesome. A hint of fear flashed across Hong's eyes. She had fought with Suzano before and knew too well the feeling of powerlessness. Ding Zi stretched his arms and legs, took a few steps forward with a solemn expression, and at the same time, the eye shadow of Sage Mode appeared on his face. Let me try, don't interfere. Shora Hong nodded slightly, jumped to the rooftop in the distance, found a position with the best view, and looked at Ding Zi expectantly. Open the third gate of the eight gates of Ninjutsu, the gate of life. King Kong blockade. A sky full of chains burst out from behind Ding Zi, and at this moment Ding Zi clasped his hands together again. Magic darkness technique. The black curtain slowly descended, and just as Uchiha Fugaku's eyes showed some light, he fell completely into endless darkness. Suddenly, Uchiha Fugaku's kaleidoscope suddenly opened, and it was a very strange pattern, which looked like a vortex composed of lines, making people dizzy at a glance. Call out! Ding Zi appeared beside Fugaku without any warning and kicked Uchiha Fugaku's head with a powerful whip kick. It seemed as if he wanted to kick Fugaku's head to pieces. This kick made Hong, who was far away, breathe faster. She couldn't help but replace herself with Fugaku and began to imagine whether she could dodge that kick. However, she soon found that it was impossible. The speed was too fast, and there was no sign at all. Unless one was prepared in advance, if it was a surprise attack, Hong thought he would be dead for sure. At this moment, the pattern on Fugaku's left eye rotated, and he suddenly stretched out his hand and grabbed to the upper right. This scene seems extremely weird, because Choko and Fugaku acted almost at the same time. To be more specific, Fugaku was already prepared to raise his hand before Choko appeared. Snapped. Ding Zi frowned as his ankles were grabbed. He put his hands together and ninjutsu burst out. Fire release. Dragon fire technique. Uchiha Fugaku suddenly exerted force with his arms and threw Ding Zi to the side, causing Ding Zi's ninjutsu to deviate in direction and explode not far away. But Chuzi was not disappointed. He took out a few kanai from his waist bag and threw them at Uchiha Fugaku. Whoosh whoosh, the kanai turned into black light and whizzed out. At this moment, Uchiha Fugaku suddenly made a move that Hong could not have expected at all. He actually leaned back and did a standard bridge pose. At the same time, Choko's figure suddenly appeared beside Fugaku, and the chidori in his hand almost passed by Uchiha Fugaku's scalp. The terrifying momentum directly caused Fugaku's robe to explode and turn into rags all over the sky. However, Fugaku did not dare to relax and suddenly did several backflips in a row. Spiral Pills Chuzi's figure appeared again at the place where Fugaku had just been, and the Rasengan brushed past Fugaku's scalp. Now, Fairy Technique Rasenshuriken Chuzi leaned back in the air and threw the jutsu in his hand at Fugaku with all his strength. Boom! Endless chakra burst out from Fugaku's body, and a huge skeleton suddenly appeared around him to protect him. The spiral shuriken hit the skull and exploded with a loud bang, making a deafening noise. 
The air made a sharp whistle under countless fine wind needles, and for a moment the earth shook as if the sky and the earth were about to be torn apart. Countless cracks appeared on the surface of the horrifying skull. Fugaku suddenly widened his eyes. The cracks were quickly repaired, and even flesh and blood began to appear on the outside. The next moment, a blue god of war made of chakra stood proudly. Uchiha Fugaku stood between the giant's eyebrows and looked down at Ding Zi, with tears and blood streaming down his eyes. It's actually, nothing happened, Hong couldn't even bear the aftermath of the battle and retreated several hundred meters. But Uchiha Fugaku, who was at the center of the explosion, was unscathed. This is simply unbelievable, Ding Zi also frowned at this time. This fight was so painful, every attack was predicted in advance, it was so frustrating. I just don't believe that your tortoise shell can't be broken. Earth escape yellow spring marsh. Gulp. Mud began to surge on the ground, and Fugaku's Suzano suddenly became shorter. At this time, Chuzi used his ninjutsu again. Fire release. Dragon fire technique. Wind escape. A big breakthrough. Seeing the swamp drying up, Dingzi grinned and created hundreds of shadow clones. The next second, a huge Rasengan appeared in the hands of all the shadow clones. This time the Rasengan even has a diameter of 10 meters. A mortal technique. Dayama Rasengan. Hundreds of voices sounded at the same time, and Ding Zi's shadow clone rolled like waves, hitting the huge Suzano. Suzano condensed two chakra short swords in his hands and attacked the ground indiscriminately like chopping melons and vegetables. Every time the blade fell, dozens of shadow clones would explode and dissipate into pure chakra. But more shadow clones swarmed up broke through Suzano's blockade, and pressed down hard on the large Rasengan in their hands. The price of a huge body is lack of flexibility. Die. Ding Zi's real body also raised a large Rasengan and smashed it down. Kacha, Uchiha Fugaku's Suzano made a crisp sound as it could not bear the weight, and Fugaku's pupils trembled rapidly in his eye sockets. Suddenly, the Suzano around him collapsed suddenly, leaving only a layer of skeletons. Fugaku successfully escaped from Chuzi's encirclement. While jumping back, Fugaku formed more than 20 seals with his hands, then took a deep breath. Fire escape the great fire extinguishes. A sea of fire with a diameter of more than 20 meters came with thunder and lightning, and it came overwhelmingly with the power to burn everything. Even though they were hundreds of meters apart, the red hair began to curl up, which showed how powerful this ninjutsu was. Hong's face was full of worry. She had lost to this ninjutsu many times before. If she was careless, she would be burned to death by this area effect fire escape technique. Ding Zi, be careful. As the clone exploded, Hong discovered that Ding Zi's figure was actually in the air. With no support at this moment, Ding Zi will surely die. Call, Ding Zi was instantly engulfed in the raging sea of fire. The raging flames rolled like raging waves, and wherever it passed would instantly turn into a barren land. Is it over? Hong lowered her head somewhat disappointedly, waiting for Ding Zi to be reborn. At this moment, a pair of big hands suddenly stretched out from the sea of fire and grabbed the skeleton around Uchiha Fugaku like a chicken, lifted it up, and smashed it towards the ground with all their strength. Boom, Fugaku fell heavily to the ground, and the terrifying force made him bounce up again. At this moment, Ding Zi's hands became very big. He jumped high, clasped his hands together into fists over his head, and smashed down with anger. Smash it! Ding Zi's body formed an inverted crescent in the air, and then burst out with extremely shocking force and smashed down hard. Buzz! Boom boom boom! The entire Konoha began to tremble, and a shock wave erupted from the ground and spread out, blowing the clothes of Kurunai Yuhi a few hundred meters away, causing her hair to flutter wildly. Kurunai Yuhi blocked the wind with her hands and looked at the ground through the gaps between her fingertips, eager to see Fugaku's figure. When the smoke and dust cleared, spider web like cracks stretching for several kilometers appeared on the ground. In the center was a pit that was more than 10 meters deep and 20 to 30 meters in diameter. At this moment, Fugaku struggled to get up from the ground, blood began to flow from his eyes, and blue chakra appeared around his body again. As the flesh and blood filled up, Suzano's figure grew taller and taller, and his upper body was almost completely solidified. Ding Zi naturally would not watch him continue to strengthen himself, and immediately formed seals with both hands. Water release Shui Yi Na Yuan. 
Chuzi spit out a ball of mucus, and when Uchiha Fugaku and Suzano wanted to dodge, he found it was too late. The sticky liquid stuck him firmly to the ground. Rachel, the thunder condensed in Ding Zi's hand shot out from above and hit Suzano heavily. Due to the tremendous pressure at this time, Uchiha Fugaku's eyes began to shed tears and blood desperately, but Suzano still exploded with a crisp, pop, sound. At this second, the soil under Uchiha Fugaku's feet shook, and a blue ball broke out of the ground. Spiral pills. Chuzi's figure appeared in both the upper and lower directions, and both the Reikiri and the Rasengan could take Fugaku's life in an instant. However, Fugaku seemed to have foreseen this scene. He moved one of his movable legs and turned sideways, perfectly avoiding Choko's attack. Reikiri and Rasengan collided with each other, causing layers of air waves to burst out. At the same time, Uchiha Fugaku finally broke free from his restraints and jumped high, with Suzano once again lingering around his body. This time, Suzano was in its final stage. A pair of angel-like wings grew out from his back, allowing Fugaku to fly completely into the sky, and the two short swords in his hands also smashed down fiercely. Now Fugaku has reached the point where he is not concerned about gains and losses, and is not afraid of losing his eyesight. He forcibly opens Suzano, and his eyes are already bloodshot. Boom, before the short knife arrived, the air wave had already bombed Ding Zi's shadow clone. Ding Zi gritted his teeth and used the multiplication technique. He opened his hands wide to catch the chakra dagger, and then pulled it hard. The complete form of Suzano showed a descending movement. Ding Zi seized the opportunity and shot out the diamond blockade behind him, tightly binding Suzano's wings together. More chains continued to climb up Suzano's body. The art of super doubling. Ding Zi's body suddenly grew larger, and only stopped when it grew to more than 20 meters. At this time, Ding Zi's body was almost the same size as Suzano. Die to me. Ding Zi grabbed one end of the diamond chain. The terrifying power given by the eight gates allowed Ding Zi to throw Suzano up and then smash him to the ground with all his strength. Suzano exploded like a lens. When Fugaku opened his eyes, he saw a huge hand covering the sky and slapping him down. Amaterasu, Uchiha Fugaku's eyes suddenly widened, and even though Chozi had reacted, he was unable to dodge under this huge body and was hit by Amaterasu. The terrifying black flame burned and climbed on Ding Zi's body at lightning speed. It was so fast that by the time Ding Zi reacted and wanted to cut off one of his arms, the Amaterasu black flame had already climbed to his chest. Ah! Ding Zi shook his head regretfully and calmly waited to be burned to ashes. Uchiha Fugaku, who was not far away, also fell heavily. Soon after, Ding Zi came back to life and rubbed his forehead with a headache. Shiri Hong hurried over and looked at Ding Zi in shock. I thought I had paid enough attention to you. I didn't expect you to be so strong that even the Akamichi clan. You are so strong. Ding Zi blinked hard and lay on the ground exhausted. I am only half a step to the cage level now. You don't understand how far I am from the real cage level. Cage level, Shihi Hong looked at Ding Zi in some surprise. It was the first time she heard this term, but she could roughly understand the meaning of the word, but she just didn't understand the connotation. In other words, I don't know what the strength range of the shadow level is. The cage level is like Uchiha Fugaku, who has strong personal combat capabilities and can easily change the terrain. For a cage-level ninja, killing a jonin is easier than drinking water, and fighting dozens of jonin alone is not a problem. The second Hokage, the third Hokage, the fourth Hokage, Uchiha Obito, Uchiha Fugaku, Gai, etc. all belong to this category. Kai is quite special. If he tries hard enough, he can definitely step into the super shadow. The so-called super shadows are ninjas such as Uchiha Madara, Senju Hashirama, the second Suchikage Mew, the second Mizukage Kazuki Genjutsu, and the third Reikage. For super shadow level ninjas, no matter how many Jonins there are, they cannot threaten their lives, and they may even be wiped out by them in a single fight. Chaoying has the ability to destroy an entire country by himself. Shora Hong opened her mouth, her beautiful eyes filled with surprise. One person destroys a country. If it was Senju Hashirama, the god of ninja, then it might be possible. But, I saw Fugaku fall down too. You were just close. Ding Zi shook his head and smiled bitterly. You think too simply. He didn't fight hard at all. 
If I continue to fight, I will still die, and he will even have a chance to revive with full health. It looks like I have the upper hand, but in fact it's because I'm fighting without regard for consumption. Once I relax, Fugaku will take control of the situation. It seems that it is still too early to fight Fugaku. If I can complete that technique, maybe I can give it another try. You still have some skills. Shihi Hong suddenly felt a little numb. Chuzi's techniques were more powerful than each other, but he still had a technique that could give him hope. What a powerful ninjutsu that would be. Ding Zi smiled confidently at this moment. Of course, that jutsu only takes one second to flatten the entire Konoha. You're kidding, you're kidding. Her red lips trembled, and she tried to swallow her saliva, but she found that she seemed to have forgotten how to swallow and even how to speak. She couldn't imagine how terrifying that kind of magic would be. Forget it, it's useless to talk about it now. Ding Zi patted the dirt off his body and stood up. Shiri Hong also came back to her senses and asked excitedly. By the way, why didn't you get hit by the genjutsu when you were fighting Fugaku? Ding Zi tilted his head suspiciously. Sage mode is immune to all illusions, don't you know that? Shiri Hong's eyes were somewhat complicated, she rolled her eyes in resentment, her voice was somewhat aggrieved, and her red lips were pursed. Should I know? Oh I forgot, you have nowhere to learn sage mode. Ding Zi grinned, and withdrew from the illusion realm with Hong. Then he lay on the tatami in the sun and said casually. By the way, how are you and Asuma doing? Hong sat down against the wall, hugging her long legs and becoming a little distracted. Not very good, I probably won't have anything to do with him anymore. Ah, Ding Zi nodded slightly, and suddenly raised her beautiful foot. The perfect arch of her foot formed a crescent shape, and the red nail polish made people's throats roll. Look, does my new nail polish look good? Does it look good? Don't put your foot in my face, fool. I take a bath every day, okay. They're all made of flower petals, smell them. Just as the two were making a fuss, there was a knock on the door. Chuzi reluctantly went to open the door and found that it was Hanada, Hayuga Natsu and Naruto outside. Nianka-san, I'm here to learn ninjutsu from you. Well, come in. The three of them walked to the training ground. When passing by the main house, Hanada glanced at the gate. When she saw Kurinai's figure inside, her brows frowned slightly. Naruto, your next task is to climb a tree and tread water. Come back to me when you are done. Oh, don't worry. Naruto clenched his fists with full energy, then ran towards a big tree beside the training ground without looking back. Chuzi did not continue to pay attention to Naruto, but rubbed Hanada's head. How far have you come in practicing your soft fist? Yes, Master Dingzi. I can now skillfully use the 64th palm of Bagua, but I still can't use the 128th palm. Tell me what's the problem. Ding Zi began to explain the soft boxing method to Hanada, and corrected Hanada's posture step by step while retaining Hanada's original style. However, less than an hour later, Naruto came back in a hurry. Nian san, I've already completed climbing trees and treading water. What should I learn next? Ding Zi raised his eyebrows and calculated the time. He found that it was only more than 50 minutes. Naruto had already completed his training. It seems that without the nine tails causing trouble, Naruto's talent is indeed quite high. Thinking of this, Ding Zi nodded with satisfaction. The higher Naruto's talent, the more help he would be in the future. Go practice shuriken. Ah, Miao San, can you teach me those powerful ninjutsu? Uncle Jiraiya promised to teach me the Rasengan. What you taught me is so useless. Ding Zi's face darkened, and he looked at Hanada and took a few steps back, saying expressionlessly. Hanada, teach him a lesson. Don't hold back, this guy has a lot of vitality. Yes, Master Ding Zi. Hanada immediately started the gentle fist move and said in a gentle tone. Naruto-kun, be careful. Naruto was about to activate Nine Tails mode, but Choji snorted coldly. Naruto, you are not allowed to cheat with Kurama. You are training now, not risking your life. Do you want to rely on Kurama for the rest of your life? Naruto was stunned for a moment, and then all the Nine Tails chakra around him retracted. It was unknown whether it was the Nine Tails or Naruto who did it, but Naruto was very confident. What's so great about that? Hanada, I'm very strong. You better be careful. Up, Naruto immediately started running. His speed was pretty good, and he soon reached Hanada's side. 
he clenched his fist and punched hard. Too weak, Naruto-kun. All your punches are vulnerable. Hanada slapped Naruto's fist away with her palm, and then the gossip suddenly lit up under her feet. Soft boxing technique Bagua 64 palms. One palm. Hanada's white and tender little hand slapped the inside of Naruto's upper arm. Naruto felt his arm go numb, and before he could react, Hanada's attack came like raindrops. Bang bang bang. 32 palms. 64 palms. PFF'd. Naruto fell to the ground like a rag, and Hanada turned pale with fear. She called out in a voice as thin as a mosquito's hum. Naruto-kun. Naruto's face turned red, and he quickly got up, gritted his teeth and endured the pain. Well, Hanada-chan, don't worry about me. I'm very strong. I was just careless just now, um. I'm going to practice shuriken. Hanada couldn't help laughing at Naruto's stubborn look, and she covered her mouth and burst out laughing. Master Choji, Naruto-kun, why is he so stupid? The gentle fist is very painful, is he, okay? Ding Zi laughed and shook his head. Don't worry, he has a big guy inside him, and nothing will happen to him. Your next task is to perfect the 128 palms, but your current physical fitness is not good enough. The high-intensity 128 palms will tear your muscles, so you must also practice the starlight sublimation technique at the same time. I will solve the problem that your cells cannot bear, so you can practice without worry. Yes, Hanada immediately sat cross-legged on the snow and began to practice the starlight sublimation technique. The heat radiating from her body melted the surrounding ice and snow after a while. Ding Zi placed his hand on Hanada's shoulder and condensed some Yang Attribute Chakra and transferred it into Hanada's body. These Yang Attribute Chakras are enough for Hanada to practice for a month. In less than five minutes, Hanada opened her eyes pitifully. Master Chuzi, I have no more chakra. Ding Zi slapped his forehead and looked at Naruto in the distance. Naruto, come over here and give Hanada some chakra. Oh, Hanada-chan, I have a lot of chakra, if you don't have enough next time, just ask me for more. Naruto gently touched Hanada, and the materialized orange nine tails chakra immediately appeared on Hanada's body. Hanada was amazed by the terrifying amount of chakra. It was enough for her to practice for a whole day. This is hundreds of times the amount of her chakra. I can't let Naruto-kun overtake me. I can't let Master Choko down. Hanada clenched her fists and then immersed herself in her training once again. At that time, the Hokage building. Are you sure Naruto went to the cat's house? The third Hokage narrowed his eyes and asked in a low voice. The Anbu in front of him nodded immediately. It is certain. We saw with our own eyes that the Jinchuriki walked into the cat's house. The eldest daughter of the Hyuga clan's main family was also there. After dispersing the Anbu, the third Hokage's eyes became uncertain. He really didn't want Naruto to have too much contact with the cat of unknown origin. It would be too dangerous if the cat had bad intentions. But now he didn't dare to go to the cat's house openly to ask for the person, after all, Union was still watching him covetously. He didn't dare to give orders to Naruto, for fear that Naruto would have bad thoughts and make him have a bad impression of him. This matter actually stumped three generations. Suddenly, the third generation saw Nara Shikaku, who was looking at his nose with his eyes and his heart with his nose, standing beside him. Shikaku, I heard that your Shikamaru is the same age as Naruto, is that right? Lu Ju, who wanted to stay out of it, looked bitter and could only nod obediently. Half an hour later, Nara Shikaku appeared at the door of Choko's house with an embarrassed look on his face, and knocked on the door with difficulty. Tuck tuck tuck, who is it? The door was opened and it was Hanada Shah who opened it. She was stunned for a moment when she saw Nara Shikamaru. I'm Nara Shikaku, and I've come to visit Ding Zijin. Please pass the message on. Please wait. Hanada Shah quickly closed the door and ran in, while Shikamaru rested his head on his arms impatiently. Dad, what does this have to do with me? This place looks like a troublesome place. Nara Shikaku gave a bitter smile. I can't do anything about your father. Why hasn't Ding Zuo come yet? I'm coming. I'm here too. The voice came before the person arrived. Akamichi Choza also came over with his child Akamichi Choji. On the other side came Yamanaka Inoichi and his daughter Yamanaka Ino. Just when the few people had just stood at the door, the door suddenly opened. 
Hanada Shah looked at the few more people with blank eyes, then respectfully walked aside and made a gesture of invitation. Master Dingzi invites you in. What a bother. Nara Shikaku was very polite and entered the reception room under the guidance of Hanada Shah, who served hot tea to the three adults and three children. The three children looked at the mansion curiously. Not to mention the children, even the adults couldn't help but envy them. It is not easy to buy such a mansion. Even the three tribes of Eno, Deer and Cho do not have the courage to buy such a mansion near the center of Konoha. Most of their clan territories are on the edge of Konoha. Although they are large, they are very cheap. Only the Yamanaka family has a store in the center of Konoha that does good business, so it can be considered to be in very good conditions. Sorry for waiting. Ding Zi walked in slowly barefoot. At this time, the six people were looking at Ding Zi. He wore a baseball jacket on the upper body, a simple white t-shirt underneath, and black cropped pants on the lower body. He didn't look cold at all even in winter. The white hair and purple cat eyes add a sense of mystery to Ding Zi. The blonde Yamanaka Ino fell in love the moment she saw Choji, and her eyes turned into big hearts. Dad, I want to stay here. Upon hearing this, Shan Zhang Hai held his forehead helplessly. Hey, you wanted me to turn this down, didn't you? I don't care, I want to stay here, or I'll tell mom where you hid the money. Yamanaka Hai was shocked and quickly covered Eno's mouth. At this time, Ding Zi slowly walked to the main seat and sat down. He glanced at the three Jonin calmly before saying calmly. You guys can tell me what you have to say. Nara Shikaku immediately took out a gift box from his side and gently pushed it onto the table, then said very sincerely. This is the deer antler produced by my Nara clan. Please accept it. Yamanaka Inoichi and Akamichi Choji also presented their own gifts. Yamanaka Inoichi presented calming herbs, while Akamichi Choji presented a coupon for a free barbecue queue. There are 20 tickets in total, with no limit on the number of free tickets. It's like this. We want the children to study with you for a while. If you don't mind, you can teach them a little when you have free time. Before Choji could reply, Hanada Natsu came in with four more people, the Inazuka mother and son and Abarame sensei. You are. The two groups were obviously very surprised to see each other. Abarame Shino's father said in a low voice. I should know why. If you ask why, it's just too coincidental. Everyone looked at each other and sat down obediently. There was a moment of awkwardness in the reception room, and at this moment, Hong walked in lazily, stretching. Everyone is here. It's really lively today. Hong swept her scrutinizing eyes over everyone and then sat down next to Ding Zi, acting like the hostess of the house. Ding Zi and I already understand your thoughts. If the child wants to stay, then he can stay. However, there is a limit to what we can teach you. Please don't be disappointed. Nara Shikaku finally breathed a sigh of relief. He was really afraid that Ding Zi would refuse. If he was rejected, how would he go back and explain to the third generation? And everyone here seems to be here for this reason. If you are rejected, no one will be able to complete the task. After that, there was another round of polite conversation, and Nara Shikaku and the others left the children behind and left. Ding Zi felt a headache when he looked at the five little ones in front of him. Including Hanada and Naruto, there are a total of seven people among the twelve little strongmen. Isn't this just a nursery? Master Ding Zi, we will go to the training ground first. Shikamaru was smart enough to know that Choko and Hong had something to say, so he took the initiative to take the other four away. At this time, Hongkai opened her red lips and said, There's no harm in taking these kids in. No matter what their purpose is, we'll get ourselves into trouble if we refuse. Ding Zi was a little surprised by Hong's, we, but he still nodded. It's the same whether you herd one sheep or ten sheep. If you don't obey, just go back. Then they won't have any reason to say anything. After saying that, Chuzi stood up and walked towards the training ground. In less than ten minutes, Shikamaru and the others had already gotten to know Hanada and Naruto. After all, they were just kids and they quickly became friends. Ino and others were quite curious about Hanada. After all, they often heard adults mention Hanada's name at home. For a while, they surrounded Hanada and asked questions non-stop. If it was the previous Hanada, she would definitely be overwhelmed and run away with a red face. But now Hanada has a faint smile on her face and handles these children with ease. 
Deng Zi actually saw the outline of the demeanor of a person in power in Hanada. As Chuzi came over, the training ground became quiet for a moment. Hanada said goodbye politely and left to continue her training, while Naruto reluctantly went to throw a kanai. Choji, Akaga, and Abarame Shino all looked at Choji curiously. Ino had a crazy look on her face, while Shikamaru seemed to be thinking about something. The two sides looked at each other for a long time, and the children began to feel the pressure. At this time, Shikamaru suddenly came out. Master Dingzi, I don't think I can lie to you, so I choose to be honest. My father received orders from the Sandame and sent us to monitor you and Naruto. This is my mission, and I think theirs is similar. Well, actually I don't want to take this troublesome task. Shikamaru seemed very sincere. He was a person who was very afraid of trouble, so he simply confessed to avoid trouble. Ding Zi narrowed his eyes and suddenly laughed. This smile made all the little ones look confused. Shouldn't you be angry when being watched? Why is he laughing? And what does this laugh mean? Shikamaru was confused, but Chuzi waved. Come here, we won't practice today. I want to play a game with you. As soon as he finished speaking, Chuzi turned around and left, while Hanada followed behind him without saying a word. Then Naruto shouted. Hey, I still need to practice, Miao san Who wants to play any games? Stop. With Naruto's shouting, the psychological pressure on the five little guys led by Shikamaru was reduced a lot, and they also followed him into the house. Shikamaru had the most serious expression, he always felt as if something bad was about to happen. After returning to the reception room and everyone was seated, Dingzi walked in with something that looked like a deck of playing cards and distributed the cards in his hand. This game is very simple. There are seven of us on the scene. Why didn't you call me when playing games? I want to play too. Hong came in from somewhere and sat at the very end. Ding Zi nodded helplessly. Every day the prophet can check a person's identity. The werewolf can also choose to kill someone. The witch has a bottle of antidote and a bottle of poison. She can choose to save a person or poison him to death. When a hunter dies, he can shoot and take away any player on the field, except those who are poisoned by the witch. Civilians have no ability. These are the rules of the game. Now, the game begins. While everyone was still confused, Ding Zi created a shadow clone. The shadow clone clapped his hands and a black curtain fell, covering everyone. They could still see each other at this time. Hey, why do we need to use ninjutsu for a game? And please explain it to me clearly, Miao San. What the hell are these rules? How do we play? Ding Zi's shadow clone did not explain, but said seriously. Next I am the judge, and the game officially begins. As soon as the words fell, everyone's vision went dark and they could only see the point in front of their own eyes. As for the people next to them, they couldn't even hear any sound. Shikamaru frowned and made a strange gesture. This game is supposed to be about finding the wolf among us and then executing the werewolf. The rules are very simple, but the gameplay is very diverse. What's even more surprising is Lord Choko's terrifying ability to control ninjutsu. He can actually use illusions to this extent. Just as he thought of this, a card fell in front of Shikamaru, with a picture of a man holding a gun on it. Your identity is a hunter. You can kill any player when you die. The judge's voice rang in Shikamaru's ears. The next second, the entire screen went completely dark, and the judge's ruthless voice rang out again. It's dark. Prophet. Please open your eyes. Naruto was confused and suddenly found that he could see other people. Just as he was about to speak, the judge said sternly. Please select the person you want to check. Checking a person. Does that mean I can find out the other person's identity? Great, I want to check. Naruto looked around, his eyes passing over everyone's face. Although they had their eyes open, they obviously could not see Naruto, nor could they hear him speak. Then I'll check Hanada-chan. Ding Zi nodded slightly and said softly. Hanada's identity is. Choji picked up a plaque with the word, good person, written on it and showed it to Naruto, then put it back. Prophet, please close your eyes, werewolf, please open your eyes. Following the judge's words, Choji, Yamanaka Ino, and Yuhi Kurunai's eyes lit up. Ino saw Choji looking at her and trembled with excitement. I'm actually a werewolf like Ding Zijin. So exciting and thrilling. Ah, Ding Zijin is looking at me. 
What are we going to do? Hong focused more on the game itself. She was now starting to find this game somewhat fun. The judge immediately said majestically, Please choose the one you want to kill. Should we choose someone? My suggestion is to get rid of Shikamaru. This little guy seems to be smarter. Hong immediately expressed her intention to send Shikamaru out. At this moment, Ino's attention was not on the game at all, and she was looking at Choko with an infatuated look on her face. This one's mine. What? Hong was stunned, not understanding what Ding Zi meant, but she was stunned for only a few seconds before narrowing her eyes. Interesting, I agree. Little girl over there, do you understand? Ah, uh, why do you want to kill Ding Zijin? Isn't he a werewolf? Ding Zi didn't want to explain to her, so he just waved his hand and said, just listen to me. From now on, I have nothing to do with you. You can stab me tonight. The judge nodded slightly. Werewolf, please close your eyes. Witch, please open your eyes. The one who was killed tonight is. Hanada opened her eyes, and with a snap, a beam of light appeared from Ding Zi's side, proving that Ding Zi would die tonight. You have a bottle of antidote, do you want to save him? Hanada nodded quickly. She didn't want to see Cho Zi being killed. At the same time, she looked at the people around her suspiciously, as if she was guessing who had done it. Witch, please close your eyes. It's dawn. Last night was Christmas Eve. Please speak according to your numbers. Well, I mean, Naruto was about to speak excitedly when the judge immediately made a pause gesture. Please speak in order. Do not interrupt or speak while others are speaking. Naruto sat down awkwardly. Ino, who was sitting in the first seat, scratched her head. Well, I don't know anything, and I don't know how to play. Anyway, I'm a good person. The next person can speak. Number two was Shikamaru. He opened his eyes slightly and scanned the expressions of everyone present, then he said softly. Last night was Christmas Eve. According to the rules, the wolf couldn't have stayed away from taking action. Does that mean someone was saved by the witch? I don't want to reveal my identity for the time being, but I think you can trust me completely. There is too little information right now. Please let the next speaker speak. Finally it was Naruto's turn. He said excitedly, Well, I'm a prophet. I checked Hanada yesterday, and he's a good guy. Snapped. Shikamaru slapped his forehead helplessly. Even though it was his first time playing, Shikamaru's extremely high IQ enabled him to understand that if the prophet exposed himself now, he would definitely not survive the night. What is certain now is that Hanada and Naruto are both good people, and the others are yet to be determined. The fourth one was Shikamaru, who said he had nothing to say and chose to skip. Abarame Shino had no presence at all and was automatically skipped as the fifth. Inazuka Kiba, who was the sixth, arrogantly stepped on the table. I'm telling you, your evil deeds won't escape my eyes, werewolf, you better jump out quickly. Further down is Ding Zi. My card is that I'm a commoner. I have nothing to hide. That's it. Pass. Hanada immediately straightened up, speaking softly but confidently. I am a witch. I used the antidote to save Lord Ding Zi last night. I also have a bottle of poison. Pass. As soon as these words were spoken, everyone at the scene looked at Choji, and Shikamaru glanced at Naruto. Naruto's only test turned out to be a witch, which means his test was useless. But fortunately, the witch saved a civilian, and Choji's identity can be trusted. Finally, Hong, she twirled her hair with her fingers in a charming way. Sister is also a good person. Actually, I think Inazuka Kiba is too excited. He may not be a good person. Just as Inazuka Kiba was about to retort, he was glared at by the judge and immediately sat back down. The voting begins. Please choose the person you want to execute. Everything went dark before everyone's eyes and they could no longer see anyone else. Soon the judge began to count the votes. Shikamaru voted 1. Inazuka Kiba voted 4. Yuhi Kurunai voted. Three people abstained from voting. Inazuka Kiba is out, now is free speech time. Inazuka Kiba, whose ticket was cancelled, looked incredulous. You guys, how dare you execute me? I am a good man. I. It's okay. Judging from the votes, it's confirmed that you are a good person. All three wolves voted for you, and I don't know who the other one is. I don't know who the other person who voted for me is, but I'm sure it was you who voted for Red, right? If you abstained from voting, the result would have been a tie. 
I'm afraid you wouldn't have been executed. It's your own fault. You guy. The seven of them were unwilling to accept the defeat and the eight of them were swallowed up by the darkness. At this time, the judge's voice sounded again. It's dark, please close your eyes. As expected, Choko and other werewolves stabbed Naruto, who was a prophet. Please open your eyes, prophet. The person you want to check is. Naruto pointed at Ding Zi excitedly. The judge picked up an ID card with the word, werewolf, written on it and said loudly. Prophet, please close your eyes. Great, I found the werewolf. Ha 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 meow san is actually a werewolf. Naruto didn't realize the seriousness of the matter at all, and was still immersed in his own world, extremely excited. Which please open your eyes, are you going to use poison? It's Don. Uzumaki Naruto died last night. With two good guys gone at once, Shikamaru felt a lot of pressure for a while. After Ino's lazy speech, he stood up and said seriously. This game is difficult, no one can reveal their cards, and they have to guess the identities of others. Now that we know that Naruto and Kiba died as good people, there are three werewolves among the remaining six people on the scene. We must find a werewolf to execute today, otherwise this game is over. Hanada saved Ding Zijin. It is known that Hanada is a witch, and Ding Zijin's identity is unknown, but he should be a good person. Since I am a good person, the werewolf must be among Ino, Choji, Shino, and Red Senior. Please talk about your own identities and your guesses about others in detail, and provide useful information. The witch can choose someone to poison tonight. Anyway, the situation can't be worse than it is now. Choji licked the seasoning on his fingers, put down the potato chips and said in a silly way. I'm a good person, a civilian. I don't think Ino is a good person. She never says anything useful, and she never mentions her identity. Shino. I don't think it's Ino, if you want to know why. That guy won't attack Choko-sama. Instead, it's Mr. Hong who might want to kill Choko-sama who knows the rules of the game. That's what I said. Choji. I think what Shikamaru said is right, and I am more suspicious of Choji. He seems to be throwing mud, and I abstained from voting in the last round. Hanada. Shikamaru-kun, I will choose one person to poison. I will not let anyone who wants to hurt Choji-sama go. These words made everyone's eyes twitch, and they suddenly felt that there seemed to be a faint murderous aura emanating from Hanada. Hey, hey, it's not that serious, it's just a game. Shikamaru's mouth twitched and he shuddered. It seemed like someone had violated some taboo of Hanada's. Shihihong immediately responded, How could I bear to kill the lovely Ding Zijin? Shino is slandering me, right? Do you want to execute a civilian like me by voting? I think your identity is not very good. Voting begins now. Everyone was silent and confused. After all, everyone seemed to be a good person. And now good people can no longer afford to gamble. Shikamaru narrowed his eyes and looked at everyone. Ino was indeed as comrade Nori said. If she were a wolf, she would never have used a knife on Lord Choko. Then the only ones left are Choji, Shino and Kurunai Senpei. Ino's status is lower than that of Choji-sama, so it would not be good to doubt Ino's status as Choji. My vote is for Choji. I don't think he's a good person. Witches can choose between Shino and Kurunai Senpei tonight. Shikamaru finally made the decision, and the others followed suit. Akamichi Choji 5 votes, Yamanaka Ino 1 vote, no one abstained from voting this round, Akamichi Choji is out. Now is free speech time. Shikamaru, you are totally wrong. I am really a commoner. The witch must have poisoned Ino to death. She is definitely not a good person. Please close your eyes when it gets dark. Please open your eyes, Prophet. The person you want to check is. Prophet, please close your eyes. Werewolf, please open your eyes. Do you want to use a knife tonight? Hong immediately pointed at Shikamaru, but Choji shook his head. No, Shikamaru's statement shows that he is likely to have an identity. Knowing that the prophet is dead and the witch is Hanada, he can only be a hunter. If he died tonight, he wouldn't hesitate to take you or Eno. We can't take any chances. This round we're going to use the sword Hanada. Hong and Eno naturally obeyed Ding Zi unconditionally, and Hong also teased. Ding Zijin is so cruel, then let's go with Hanada. Werewolf, please close your eyes. Witch, please open your eyes. Do you want to use poison? Hanada opened her eyes, 
her eyes flickering between Shino and Kurinai for a moment, then she pointed firmly at Kurinai. I want to poison Yuhi Kurinai Senpei. Which, please close your eyes. It's Don, Hayuga Hanada and Yuhi Kurinai died last night. Please speak in order. Ino hesitated for a moment before speaking. If I were a bad guy, I would definitely attack Shikamaru. You're too smart, but since I'm a good guy, I don't stand a chance. Anyway, I believe in Shikamaru. Shikamaru's face was almost wrinkled. He suddenly realized that such a simple game was so difficult. He had to control human nature, act, guess, and read micro-expressions. We must dig out the truth from the details of the speech. I have nothing to say. I will summarize in the end. You can continue. Shino immediately stood up and said. Both Hong Senpei and Hanada are dead. Now I am very suspicious of Ding Zijin. If you ask me why, I think he is very suspicious. I am a civilian myself, and I also hope that the good guys can win. At this moment, Ding Zi suddenly became serious. Let me explain the logic to you first. There must not be three wolves on the scene. If there were three wolves, the game would have been over with only four of us. That means that the Choji we got rid of yesterday was most likely a werewolf. And the witch was stabbed last night, and her poison must have been used on Hong. The worst case scenario is that there are two wolves on the field, and the best case scenario is that there is only one wolf left. Shino has always been suspicious of others, even to the point of suspecting me, a silver water man. I think he is getting anxious as a werewolf. I was the one who was saved by the witch on the first night. The witch gave me the silver water. I have the highest status at the scene. If you doubt me, you are in danger. I believe in Shikamaru too, so let Shikamaru return the vote. Shikamaru was extremely stressed out at the moment. Now if one person makes a mistake, the game is over. Ding Zi's identity is indeed very high, and her logic is correct. Ino will not use a knife on Ding Zi, and it is not ruled out that she is a werewolf. The only one left is Shino, who suspects that Choji has indeed made a bad move. How do I choose? Shikamaru bit his finger and looked at the two people on his left and right, his embarrassment almost written on his face. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.